And a good evening, everyone, from Ernie Anderson Courts. I'm Mel B. Hall, Longsburg University here in Minneapolis. Welcome to the best in Division Three sports, the MIAC. And tonight, it is volleyball. As your Augsburg Doggies are welcoming the Gusties of Gustavus Adolphus College for this conference opener, the first league match for both of these teams. It is a match ranked number 16 in the country of a 10 and 2 overall record. Gustavus also received some votes. They're the defending conference champions. They are 7 6 overall. This is broadcast here on Augie Game Central, courtesy of Augsburg University in cooperation with my company, TJ Broadcast Services. TJ Sports Online. It. Brought to you by Twin City Orthopedics, Adidas, Big Athletics, Devonix Pizza, Minnesota Coaches Incorporated, Wells Fargo, Jimmy Johns, 360 Wawink, Memory Lanes, a quarter bar, and the Courtyard Marriott, Minneapolis. I'm Tim Merchant, voice of the Augies. Glenn Thompson is upstairs keeping his hand in the air. This is your Augie pregame show, and this is my first chance to talk with head coach Jane Becker. It's been about three weeks. 12 matches into the season, but a chance to sit down, and we had a nice long conversation here a couple of weeks ago. For the next few minutes, we're going to talk volleyball with head coach Shane Becker. Now on year number 10. Gone by quick, or <laughs> just seemed like yesterday we got started? Yeah, no, just 10 years has flown by. Um, yeah, it's crazy to think back about those first few days and first year and the hiring process and not how, you know, knowing how it would all come together, but couldn't be more thankful that I ended up here and um, have had this this experience with the staff and the school and these athletes, um, all the, you know, assistants and just people that have come through. And, yeah, I couldn't be more blessed and just happy. I'm happy and still trucking along. Yeah, and the success, of course, that you've had as well. Let's uh, catch up. Since last season, uh, spring, summer, what, what, what do we have in volleyball activities? Yeah, lots. Um, five new first years, which is always exciting. Um, really great group of young ladies. They are, um, as individuals and as students, just very strong character and, you know, academically. And they're just um, excited to be at Augsburg. They're really good fits and have brought a lot of stability, I think, into our program. They they all can play multiple positions are talented um it, yeah it, it's fun and they all are they you know mostly are finding some time on the court but really great to have in practice as well and just supporting our team um otherwise you know everybody else just got a year older so fun to have Quam back as a fifth year um you know have a great little group of three seniors uh here leading the charge um and then you know it's kind of fun to see those freshmen become sophomores and sophomores become juniors and um, they're all just stepping up and, and having a great, great season so far. All right, the five new young ladies, could you mention them individually and uh, where they're from or what they add? Yeah, for sure. So Angel um, went to North St. Paul, uh, and she is just a yeah, great program, little fireball. Um, she has been mostly playing back row for us. She can play front row, a little bit undersized, but jumps well. So she can add some different things into the practice. But in the competition so far, she's find, found time in the back row. So middle back, left back, she's got a tough serve. She can back row attack. Um, great serve receiver. Um, just, you know, as all first years getting caught up to the pace of the game and, and finding her way. But um, she's had some early time on the court, and I expect that she'll find her way back out there. Um, Katie O'Rourke, she is an Irondale uh, setter and and hitter, and she is doing both for us at the moment. She is a great um, – has been a great backup option for us in the setting. We're running a 6-2, so she's a third setter right now. Really strong player, really great hands, um, can serve the lights out of the ball, but also is, is kind of coming in for us and hitting a little bit on the outside and right side in practice too and is ready to be a fast sub in either of those spots. Plays good defense, is a good block, so all around just has a really strong game. Also from Irondale, Cheyenne, and Cheyenne is um, – she played outside and she's coming along. She's um, an athletic – young person and just um, just needs to you know keep keep trucking along in practice and and uh, getting the speed of the game but she's a good athlete and loves volleyball and has just been a great addition to the team in terms of culture and just willing to do whatever it takes to, to work hard and, and to push our team um, then we got Caitlin and Caitlin um, also she was outside in high school but um, is finding some more back row time for us right now, stepping in as a middle back and 
really strong, strong fundamentals. Um, can serve, receive, can play defense, reads really, really well, tough serve. So she's um, found some time stepping in for our outsides and middle back and, and being a good player to do that. And it's been amazing to see just her calmness, even when um, she doesn't know she's going in and she just jumps in there. It's done a really nice job. And then lastly uh, is Madeline Earp. And Madeline has been our um, has been a great addition in either the middle or the right side position, mostly playing in middle right now for practice. Um, we moved our boys and one of our first year starters from the middle last year out to the right side. So Earp has really come in and been an awesome um, middle to play against in practice. And her game has just gone up you know, little by little every day. And it's been fun to see her make such big strides. And I'm, um, I'm excited for her, excited to see how her career develops. Well, the Augers off to a seven one start as this is being aired, or uh, it'll you're down in uh, Dubuque for uh, a tournament down there, an invitational, another weekend on the road. You're going to face some uh, competition. You saw this last week in the Augie invite. Dubuque is there, Loris is there, Lacrosse is there, but seven uh, one, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I am. I think going into the season. Um, knew we had some talent, and um, I knew how hard the players were working over the summer. So that was fun to see. Um, you, you never know, though, how it's all going to come together. And obviously, we graduated three very significant players in our program, Macy, Steph, and Morgan. Um, you know, Macy being our all-time, you know, career dig leader, a starter for four years. Morgan being, you know, a setter, starter for three years, but just an you know amazing player. And Steph being a DS starter for several years. And those three were a huge part of our defense. Um, for, you know, it was just, yeah, a huge loss. So not sure how it would all play out, but it's been um, exciting to have both Macy and Morgan on staff. They're great coaches, great coaches. And so they're adding so much in that that it feels – like we haven't lost them a ton, you know, obviously their leadership on the court, but it's fun to have that leadership on the bench and be able to run drills and practice. Um, sophomore setters are stepping up and playing great. And then you have Jalen Rios, who's stepping into that libero position as a senior um, behind Macy last year, but had two years as a starting libero at her previous school. So fun to see her kind of get settled in and play at a very high level. Um, so, yeah, not sure. You know, we didn't know how it would all come together, but they've they've been very, if I'd pick one word to describe them this year, um, fearless would be my word. They're just not really worried about, so far, the wins and the losses. They're just kind of going out, playing hard. You know, we've picked off and beat three highly ranked teams, you know, a third, a fourth ranked team, you know, in CMS and Wisconsin-Eau Claire and a 12th ranked team in Whitewater. So, kind of fun. And I, they are understanding now, I think, with their potential. Um, so hopefully we can just keep our mind where it's been and just worry about one ball at a time, one point at a time, taking care of the team and working hard. All right. Thank you, Jane. Jane Becker, head coach of the Aungies in her 10th year. And this is your Aungie pregame show here on Aungie Game Central for updates and information on all Longsburg University sports. Check out our athletic website at athletic.ongsburg.edu. Updated constantly with all the information on all 22 Aungie varsity sports. It's your online home for Aungie athletics if it's happening. In Augie Sports, it's online at athletics.ongsburg.edu. And you may have heard on the interview, we did it when uh, we were still 7-1. The Augies are now 10-2 and two on the season. They did go down to Dubuque and lost to a nationally ranked Loris in the opening night, but came back and won a pair of matches on Saturday. So 10-2. and two. Their losses on the season, they lost to Cal Luther back uh, to begin the season. And then lost to Lawrence College, as we mentioned, by a score of 3-1. to one. Their opponent tonight is Gustavus Adolphus. The guest is under head coach Rachel Sheridan, a teammate of Jane Becker at St. Thomas, way back for him. They are 7-6 and six overall. And, again, this is their first match here in camp. They started the season doing 4-0, and oh, but then they lost to Wartburg. They lost to Lawrence. They lost to Washington, Missouri. Lost to St. Norbert's but then have won three of their last four. Their last match was against Minnesota Morris back on the 17th, and they won that one by a score of three to nothing. So seven and six overall for Rachel's team. It's broadcast here tonight on all good games. Central courtesy of Twin City Orthopedics. Proud to be the official sports medicine provider for Augsburg Athletics. TCO is an all-inclusive orthopedic sports medicine and wellness provider offering world-class services at the art facilities. Visit them at tcomn.com. 
Minnesota Kosher, the official bus provider for Ongsburg Athletics. If you have travel needs for your group or special event, visit www.minnesotakosher.com to learn more or request a court. Thank you to Minnesota Kosher. This preseason here in the MIC has been very competitive, and I think it bodes well for a great conference a race here over the next a few weeks. St. Ben's, they're ranked number eight right now in the country. They are 12-1 on the season. Hamlin Piper is off to an eight and a three start. St. Olaf, 11 and two. St. Thomas, 11 and two. The Augie is 10 and a two. St. Kate's, he is eight and four. We saw them here a couple nights ago and took care of Northwestern in three straight. Because Davis has mentioned they're above the 500 mark at seven and six. St. Mary's is off to a six and four start. Are the matches going on uh, today? Oshkosh and St. St. Thomas are at Stevens Point. Bethel and River Falls are down in uh, Iowa at Grinnell. St. Olaf and UW Platteville at Coe in Iowa. Carlton also there. And so is St. Mary's. They're taking on Loras tonight. Crown is at Hamlet tonight, non-conference. Milliken of Illinois. And St. Thomas at UW Stevens Point. St. Olaf at Coe. Bethel at Wartburg. Uh, excuse me, Bethel versus Wartburg. Down at Grinnell and St. Mary's versus Ripon. For the Augies after tonight. They're idle until homecoming week. Next Wednesday night here at home, they will entertain the Knights of Carleton College before they hit the road for three straight. For the Gastings after tonight, their next action, let's see. Did they go on the road? Go on the road to St. Olaf on the 26th, home to Northwestern on the 28th. On the road at St. Kate's on October 2nd, and on the road at Hamlin on October 5th. This is a very special night. During tonight's match, Augsburg and Gus Davis players are taking part in a lace-up for pediatric cancer match, wearing purchase shoelaces that support the goal for the goal campaign. 100% of all monetary donations tonight will go back to helping kids with cancer and the families in Minnesota. You can donate tonight or go online to donate at this online address. That is www.donategoforthegoal.org. The Augie is coming off a of four and one weekend in Iowa. They defeated Luther College about a week ago. Three to nothing, then dropped to Loris at three to one, came back and won on Saturday beating UW Lacrosse. And a 3 0 win over Edgewood College. Again, this is your Augie pregame show. Got a doubleheader for you tonight. We're on Channel 2 tonight here on the Augie Game Central on, ga- on Channel 1. We've got soccer tonight. And Charlie Beatty is upstairs calling the soccer game at the Augie Ladies. 3 and 1 on the season. They are hosting Northwestern, the Golden Eagles of Roseville. Devontae's Pizza and Hot Hog is Augsburg Athletics' first choice for a great meal. Devontae's located right across the street. Offers the amazing Augie Medic discount. Get 10% off any order. You tell them you want the Augie Medic discount at Devontae's. Whether you're traveling for work or taking vacation from it, the court of Minneapolis downtown helps you put more play in your stay. From the gym and the pool to redesign guest rooms and social lobby space, they've got you covered. Visit them at courtyardminneapolis.com slash Augsburg. Make room for a little fun at the courtyard. And Ken Florian is riding shotgun here tonight. He will have the introductions here in a just a bit. And we'll play some volleyball. Mentioned Gustavus, the defending MIAC champions. By the way, football tomorrow. The Augie football team is up in the Red River Valley to take on Concordia for the playing of our national anthem.
All right, again, our national anthem here from Ernie Anderson Court Time. He'll be home. Let's turn it over to Ken and the introductions. Good evening, volleyball fans, and welcome to Augsburg University and Cy Melby Hall for tonight's women's MIAC volleyball match. Tonight's match features the visiting Gussies of Gustavus Adolphus College against our own Augies of Augsburg University. First for the Gusties, your non-starters. Number three, Keeley Oak. Number five, Jess Gruber. Number six, Ella Johnson. Number eight, Matea Johnson. Number nine, Kylie Cox. Number 10, Ellie Anderson. Number 13, Leah Meyer. Number 14, Courtney Peterson. Number 15, Nora Kemkule. Number 16, Gemma Roby. And number 18, Aaron Beer. And number 20, Annalie Olson Sola. Now your starters for the Gusties. A five foot eight junior from Rochester, Minnesota. Number two, Kate Holton. A five foot nine first year from Brownton, Minnesota. Number four, Brian Herman. A five foot 11 first year from Lombard, Illinois. Number seven, Sarah Elliott. A five foot nine first year from Urbana, Illinois. Number 17, Kaylin Johnson. A five foot 10 first year from Kansas City, Missouri. Number 19, Katea Welsh. A six-foot first year from Wilmer, Minnesota, number 21, Sydney Olson. And at LaBarro, a five-foot seven junior from Mankato, Minnesota, number one, Haley Embacher. Head coach, Rochelle Sheridan, assistant coaches, Alisa Taylor and Schaefer Rupart. Now for your Augies of Augsburg, your non-starters. Number one, Shiana Keywell. Number two, Madeline Earp. Number five, Caitlin Ogdahl. Number seven, Kim Lindgren. Number nine, Lexi Lang. Number 10, Cookie Shonya. Number 11, Megan Quam. Number 12, Emma Erie. Number 14, Ella Hanze. Number 17, Katie O'Rourke. And number 21, Angel Kanag. Now your starters for the Augies. A five foot 10 sophomore from Afton, Minnesota. Number six, Kayla Jurdy. A five foot eight sophomore from River Falls, Wisconsin. Number eight, Izzy Barr. A five foot 10 junior from Blaine, Minnesota. Number 15, Corina Evans. A five foot 10 junior from Foley, Minnesota. Number 16, Maddie Nierengarten. A six foot Sophomore from Arden Hills, Minnesota, number 18, Jay Fullerton. A five foot 10 sophomore from Rochester, Minnesota, number 22, Jay Boyson. And at LaBarrel, a five foot six senior from Chaplin, Minnesota, number four, Jalen Rios. Head coach Jane Becker, assistant coaches Colleen Enrico, Macy Turl, Tia Rudisis, Lindsey Peterson, Ellen Sachs, and Morgan Malley. I thank Ken, Ken Florian, and the introductions for tonight. Again, for Guest Davis, Michelle Sheridan, Haley Embach here will be the lead out of St. Clair High School. Kate Holton, their leading hitter out of Rochester Mayo. Ryan Herman. And she's a first-year player from Glencoe Silver Lake. Sarah Elliott, another first-year player from Lombard, Illinois. 
Kaylin Chasson, a first year player from Urbana, Illinois. Kakea Welsh, middle hitter. Another freshman from Park Hill. This is a young squad. And Sydney Olson, a first year out of Wilmer, Minnesota, for the Augies. Kaylin Jurdick, of course, out of Stillwater High School. NC Barr from River Falls, our setter. Green Evans in the middle, our junior from Blaine. On the left side, Matt Inier in Garden, junior from Princeton. Jade Fullerton playing the middle as well. Sophomore from Monview, Jade Boyce. And on the right side, sophomore from Rochester. Male, labor road, Jalen Reyes, one of our three seniors out of Totino Grace High School. Aug is in the court right in front of us. Wearing the white today with the maroon numbers. A little gray trim. Four against tape, but they're wearing the black tonight with the yellow numerals and a trim. And Augsburg will serve first. Izzy Barr will serve for the Augies. Izzy with 34 aces on the season to lead the Augies. For serve of this match. And it's popped up in that back row. They go up front off the left side. Put down the line there by Ryan Herman. Here's Madden Neergarten. Her shot is blocked. First block of the game for Gustavus as they take a one to nothing lead. And going back to the service line for the Gusties is Ryan Herman, Glenn Cole Silverlake, White County Campers. They got out of the back row by Jerry. Left side near Garden. Maddie goes cross for scores. Maddie near Garden for the Augies and ties it up at 1 1. Maddie on the season with 79 kills, which is third on the team. And Herman will come out. And Connie Cox, a sophomore from Park Center, will come into the match. Serving as Maddie Neardengarden puts it down low. They go up front, popped up off the left side or the right side. Saved there by Barr. Left side, Kayla Jurdy shot. And it's dug up by M. Bucker. They go left side, far side for Kate Holton. And a nice save by Izzy. High in the air, Boyson. Middle, Karina shot. And nice save again. Pushed across there by the lead row, Kaitlyn Johnson. Here's Kayla again. This time up the block. And Kayla Jurdy gives the Yogis a lead at one or two to one. That's the first lead change. Kayla on the season leading the Columbian kills with 123 2-1 in favor of the Yogis. Dirty out of Stillwater in the net. Service here for the Yogis. And we're tied up at 2-2. I'll get game night. And now M. Bacher will come out. And Kakea Walsh will come in. Sydney Olson, the other middle out of Wilmer. She will serve. And the serve is out of bounds. Service there, charge to Gus Davis. And the Augies have a 3-2 to two lead. Jade Fullerton will come in. Jalen Rios will come out. That means Karina Evans will go back to that service line. Karina out with a calf injury for a few matches. She got hurt in the match against Lawrence, but she said she's good to go. Karina serve in the net. Her chair exchanging service errors. Tied at three. And now Kaylin Chasser will come up. And coming in will be Taya Johnson, the other setter. She's from Byron. Byron Bears. Matea serve. Augie ball up front. Bar middle. Jade Fullerton scores. Wait a minute. We got the Augies got called. Jade Fullerton got called for in the net. And Davis is taking a four to three lead. Matea. One of their few seniors off the serve. Popped up by Jurdy. Bar middle, Jade this time make, marries it. Jade Fullerton would not to be denied. And the Jade picks up her 70th kill on the season. And we're tied 4-4 here in the set. Boyson comes out. And Barr comes out. That means Lexi Lang coming in. Megan Quam will come in for the Augies. Serving as Lang. Lexi puts it in the net. And another service here for the Augies. Right now on the floor for the Yogis, it's Fullerton, Quam, Lang, Jurdy, Rios, and Nierengarden. Back at the service line, Haley Embacher is back in the match. It is Ongi Ball, Lang, middle shot, Jurdy, and is dug out by Embacher, a correction by Kate Holton, and this time in the net, called against Gustavus, and this time was called against Kaikea Walsh, and we're tied at 5 5. Five ties, 5 5 in the match. And here, Jurdy to serve, right to left, first set. And it goes up front, free ball. Jade scores! 
Jade Fullerton, free ball, and she has her second kill. And the Augies have a 6-5 to five lead. Dirty serve again. Popped up there by Embacher at the net on the left side. Oh, what a save in the back row by Dirty. Maddie up the left side and floats it over. Gusty ball near side, right side tip. And it's dug up by Quam. Backs it, shot by Maddie, and it's blocked again by the Gusties. Holton goes up front, left side. Floated over by Elliott, saved there by Fullerton. Rios from dirt for Dirty and sends it across to the back line. And she put it out of bounds. An attack here for the Onga. That's their third attack here. And we're tied at six. And coming back in the batch is Sidney Olsen. Haley Imbacher is serving. They're labor on. She puts one out of bounds. And for Gustavus there, second service here. The Yogis have three service here. Green Evans coming back in. Jade Fullerton will sit down. At 7-6 Augsburg, Jalen Rios, one of our three seniors, will serve. And off the serve, played up front. They go back, set right side, shot partially blocked. Saved by Quam. Lang will push it across herself. Embacher goes up front. Free ball, Neargarden scores! Maddie Neargarden and another free ball on Maddie. Puts it down for the kill. Maddie with 80 kills on the season. The Augies have a two-point lead at 8-6. Rios again, puts it down low, and she's got herself an ace. Galen Rios will pick up her 13th ace of the season. The Yonkies have ran off three in a row. They have a three-point lead at nine to six. Quam, Rios, and Emma Erie are three seniors. And up the serve, she'll get one back. And the air against the Yonkies. Coming back in for the Gusties. Is, let's see, Kaelin Johnson coming back in. Sarah Elliott coming back in. Kaelin Johnson serving left to right. Seven serving nine. And there's an ace for Kaelin. Serving aces. Kate Holton has 22. Three other ladies in double figures. It'll be eight serving nine. Kaelin Johnson, Johnston serve. Up front line. Back set shot. Quan scores. Megan Quan with her 66. Kill of the season. Q gives us a two-point lead. A 10 8 Quam comes out. Ryan comes out. Boyson comes in. Izzy Barr comes back in for your Augies. 10-8. First set. Best three out of five. Barr part of our 6-2. Embacher goes up front. They set the middle. Put down by Elliott. They by Rios. Izzy near side and Maddie through the double block. Kept alive by the Gusties. And the third hit bumped across by Johnston. Augie Ball. Bard near side. Maddie puts it down. They got by Embacher. They go left side for Elliott. Puts it in the net. The question, Ryan Herman. Calling it wrong one. Elliott is number seven. That was Ryan Herman. And in the net on the attack here. Point for the Augies. It's a three-point lead at 11-8. Bar serve back row too far. Service here. And it'll be nine serving 11. Here's Ryan Herman. Lynn Cole, Silver Lake. Brownton is her hometown. Very young team. 11 freshmen on the squad for Rochelle. And off the serve. Near and Garden for Barb. Back to Karina. Scores! Karina Evans. Go is hurt from Karina Evans. Came into the match. And she was second of the club and kills now number 81. And the Augies lead by three at 12 to nine. And the Augies have their eighth kill. No kills for the Gusties right now. They've got nine points. Half of those on service here is by the Augies. Serving is Maddie Neardengarden. Out of Princeton. In the back row. Got herself an ace. Maddie Neardengarden with the ace. And Maddie, that is her 17th ace of the season. And the Augies have opened up a four-point lead at 13-9. to Time out on the floor. Augie game day on Augie Game Central.
owned and operated by an Oxford alum, um, alumni at 360 Wall of the parent company. There's several up and coming brands in the Twin Cities. 1 800 Got Junkie Movie in Shack Shot. Looking for a great shop and a great team that is with great pay that is near campus. Learn more or apply online by visiting 360WowInc.com. And the Corner Bar is a proud sponsor of Augsburg Athletics, located in the historic Seven Corners area. The Corner Bar is the perfect place for great food, outstanding pizza, and the almost world-famous Joey Wings. And there's tons of screens, so you won't miss a second of the action. Visit the Corner Dot Bar for more information on the Corner Bar. And let's see, let's check out some of the other action around the MIAC. In addition to volleyball tonight. Cross country going on in South Bend, Indiana. The one soccer game is the Augies hosting North Washington. And we mentioned all the volleyball matches. Anything else on the calendar as I scroll down? Nope, that's it. Try to keep you prize of everything as we go along. Yes, yeah, coming out of the break, 13-9 Augies with a four-point lead. They trailed a couple of times, but by no more than one. Nearden Garden to serve for the Augies. Off the serve dug out by Embacher. They go back to that right side shot, put down cross court. By Sarah Elliott, back set for Gertie, floats it across. Gusty ball, left side. Holton shot, get blocked by Evans and company and Boyson. Holton again, Kate goes cross court, and there's Gertie. Izzy, back set, shot by Jade. Hey, what a save in that back room. There by Johnson. Gusty sent it across, but it's out of bounds and hit the antenna. Actually, a two hit call, and the Augies have opened up a five point lead at 14 to 9. Nearing Garden for the Yogis. Good hard serve. Scraped off the floor. They go left side. Kate Holden shot is good. Kate Holden, and I believe that's her first kill so far this uh, tonight. She has 149 on the season. It's now 10, serving 14. And Barker will come out. Coming in is Kakea Welsh. Serving is Sydney Olsen. Augie ball off the serve. Rios in the back row. Up front, Boyson has to bump it across. And it's dug out by Olsen. And set up front, Kate Holton, shot blocked by the Yogis. Free ball, Evans scores! Current Evans on a free ball, hammered at home. She has her second kill. The Yogis have a five point eight. Coming in for your Yogis is Cookie Shonya. Proud of these side, St. Paul Johnson. Green Evans will come out. Cookie will serve. Shonya sends a deep, played up front. Johnson goes back set, shot put across, and good. Back set on the near side, and Sarah Elliott gets her first kill, and it's 11 serving 15. Sydney Olsen, and now coming out of the match is Olsen coming in is uh, Matea Johnston. Uh, Johnson, you know, Johnson. 11 serving 15, Augie ball, Barr near side, Jerdy shot black, saved there by Barr. And Jalen Rios has to bump it across. As they set, they go back set near side shot, blocked by the Yogis. Deep in that back row, Gusty up front, Kate Holton floats it across, back row, nobody can get to it. Kate Holton gets a freebie. Kate Holton will pack up her second kill. As the Gusties have scored now three in a row, it'll be 12, serving 15. Matea Jansen, senior, part of the two setters. Izzy, back set, Jade Boyson shot, blocked. Augie ball at the net. Jerdy down and good. Kayla Jerdy on the back set. Off the left side and Kayla Jerdy will pick up the kill. Kayla has her third kill. The Augies lead by four. Bar out. Boyson out. Lang in. Qualm in for the Augies. 16 serving 12. Augies 10 and 2. Gets Davis at 7 and 6. And off the serve. There's an ace for the Augies. Augie will pick up their third ace. And Lang will get the ace, and we've got a timeout on the floor. You can listen and watch more than 130 live Augsburg sporting events 
online by going to our website at athletics.oxford.edu. We have live webcast 11 different sports during the school year. Our game central portal features live webcast along with live statistics of home events. You also be able to watch or listen to archive events on demand. Go online to athletics.oxford.edu and click on the fan zone link or click the Augie Live link on game days. Mention Augie Soccer tonight. Taking on Northwestern of uh, Roseville. Actually, they want, to be, well, they want to be known as Northwestern of St. Paul. Charlie Beatty on the call upstairs. See if I can find a score. See if the Uggies have got, gotten on the board of 3 and 1 right now on the season. Don't forget, tomorrow we've got men's soccer tomorrow night. And the football team will be at the Red River Valley. And still have, I'm going to pull up the score here. I'll get it to you in just a bit. Lexi Lang to serve on Rochester Mayo. Hands it deep. Popped up in that back row. By County Cox at the net. Set up with a double block. Lang for Fulton. Right side Quam shot in the net. Quam on the miss hit. Augie's with the attack here. It'll be 13 serving 17. As Ryan Herman will come in. And County Cox will come out. Augsburg is up 1-0 over Northwestern. And up the serve, there's an ace. Ace for the back row. The Augies let it go in that back row. And picking up the ace is Kate Holton. And Kate serving wise, she's got now 23 aces on the season. 13 serving, 17. Lang backs it, shot, Jurdy scores! Kayla Jurdy with another one. Kayla Jurdy, that I believe is now three. On the season, Augies. 18 serving 14. That should be 19 serving 14. And off the serve, played high up front. They go left side. Shot by Herman. Is good. Ryan Herman for the Gusties. Makes it 15 serving 18. Healy and Bucker. Uh, the Mankater area, and uh, gets an ace. Jordy let it go, and an ace for the uh, Gusties. That's their third ace, 16, serving 18. Augie's biggest lead was five, now cut to two. And Bonker again, Haley, their Libro floats it over and scores! Haley and Bonker threw the knuckleball over, and Jalen could not get to it. And M. Bonker will pick up her second ace. And the Gusties have moved within one. It is 18 serving 17, or 17 serving 18. Final Augie Athletics on social media. Go to Augsburg Augies on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for all of your Augie social media. Remember to use the hashtag Augie Prayer to share your love of Augie Athletics. Jimmy John's the number one sandwich choice for Augsburg Athletics, located in the northwest corner of campus. Provide fast delivery. How fast you ask? Freaky fast. Go to www.jimmyjohns.com to view the menu in hours. That is Jimmy Jazz. We try to find out who got the goal for the Augies. Don's got the stat monitor up for the soccer game. Try to be back in action tomorrow night. Augie men's soccer team will be in action. <laughs> 17 serving 18. And Bonker for the Gassies left to right. And up the serve back row. Jerry goes up front, they set the middle. Jade Fullerton scores. Jane Fullerton hammers it home. Jane Fullerton out of mound for your high school, former Mustang. And Cookie Shonia will come out. Karina Evans will come back in. Dan Jalen Rios is back in for the Augies. Augies hitting 296. Gussie's just 095. Embacher scrapes it off the floor. They set the left side. Herman gets blocked. Augies with another block. That is their, I guess that's their first block tonight. Augies have up the lead at 20 to 17. 
Augers is a team with 20, 155 blocks on the season. 20, serving 17. Jalen Rios floats it over. Holton goes up front. They go back to right side. Shot put cross court. And it's dug out by Drudy. Sending up Maddie up the left pin. And sends it across. Embacher up front. Cross court shot through the black end. Good by Sidney Olsen. Nice set from Johnson. And Olsen scores. Question was that 20? No, that was 20. That's right. Analia Olsen Sola got that kill. Not, not the other Olsen. 18 serving 20. Here's Caitlin Johnston. Nice save by Rios in the back row. And Nierengard from behind the line sends it over. Played up front. They go back to that right side. Shot put down partially black. And it's off the hands of Drudy. And off the right side, Sir Elliott makes it a one-point match once again. At 19 serving 20 in the race to 25. Their center, Caitlin Johnston. Out of Urbana, Illinois. Augie Ball backs it right side. Q sends it over. Nice save by Embacher. Johnson near side. Set cross court by Elliott. Augie Ball. Evans sets up at Nierengarten. Floats it over the double block. Popped up. Holton goes right side. And there's a block by the Augie. Is Nierengarten and Corinne Evans. Combined in the block on the right side. It'll be 21-19. Bard coming in, Lang coming out, Boyson coming in, Megan Quam coming out. Augie's lead by two, 21 to 19. On the floor for your Augies, it is Evans, Boyson, Nierengarden, Rios, Barr, and Adrudy. And on the floor for Rochelle, Sidney Olson, Sarah Elliott, Kate Holton, Kim, ba- M- Kim Umbacher, Ryan Herman. And Caitlin Johnston serving is Izzy Barr, leading server, and sends it over and gives herself an ace. Izzy Barr floats it in over the front wall and right in front of the back wall. And Izzy has herself another ace. Barr on the season, that is ace number one, 22 19. And up the serve again, gives it back, kind of service here, all the way down deep and out of bounds. Augie with five airs and uh, six airs and four aces. Serving is Ryan Herman. Left to right, Ryan serves. And it goes up front, free ball, gusty ball. Johnson goes left side, Holton shot, scores! Kate Holton had all the time in the world. They're leading attacker. Makes it a 21, serving 22 match. Herman, just a freshman, mentioned, what did I say, 11 freshmen on this roster? And up to serve Herman and gets herself an ace. We're tied up. We tied at six. And now we're tied at 22. And Coach Jane Becker wants to call timeout. Timeout on the floor. Augie game night here on Augie Game Central. Augie's back in action. Hosting Carlton next Wednesday night as part of homecoming week. It's a crosstown or cross country that Minnesota coaches quality equipment and experienced courteous drivers provide you worry free transportation. Overnight and extended trip options are available. Visit www.minnesotacoaches.com today to request a report. Minnesota Coaches, the official bus provider for Augsburg Athletics. Take a look at that sports calendar for the Augies. All right, what did I do with my schedule there? There we go. What's going on tomorrow? The women's cross-country team will be down in St. Olaf as the men's cross-country team. The only invite, the men's golf team, will be at St. John's, the University of St. John's University Fall Invitational up at uh, Sock Center Sartell. Football game at Jack Dick Christensen Stadium in Cody Moorhead. Men's soccer against St. Thomas tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Big match for the Ongies. 22-22, Herman serving. There's Jordy for Barr. Near side, Nierengarten. Sends it back to Embacher. Pops it up. They go cross court for Kate Holder. Sends it deep and out of bounds. August with the lead. And it is now 23 22. Double set point, but again, you have to win by two. Nierengarten serve. Holton goes up front. Johnston, middle, bucked across. There by Elliott. Here is a floater by Kayla Jurdy. 
gets to more Johnson, backs it right side shot, blocked by the Augies, but kept alive in the middle. Floated across and deep, nice save by the Augies, but they can't play it off the net. And it'll be Sidney Olsen getting credited. Sidney played for the Wilmer Cardinals in the Central Minnesota Conference. Guess what? We're tied again. 23-23. Coming in is Kakea Welsh. As Healy Imbanker will sit down. 23 apiece. Jerdy for Barr. Third hit, right side. Boyson floats it and scores! Jade Boyson. Little teardrop over the net. And Jade gives a set point. I believe that's Jade's first point, no second point. Fullerton in, Shonia will come in, Karina Evans will come out, and Jalen Rios will come out. 24-23, first set. Set point for Cookie Shonia and the Ogies. Shonia serve back row, played up front. Johnson goes left side, Holton shot scores. Jade Holton nails one. It's 24 24. Shonia will come out. Rios will come back in for your Augies. Coming back in is Matia Johnson. And also coming back in, let's see, that is Anneli Olson Sola. Johnson, the other center. Matea to serve it, 24 all. Back row, Jordy high in the air. Barr, Max at Boyce and right side, cross court. And it's popped up on that back row. They go left side again for Kate Holden. Sends it across. Nice save by Jordy. Pushed across by Barr. And score! Easy Barr. Pushed it across. You know what it is set. And the Yogis take the lead. At 25 24. Barr comes up. Lang comes in. And Quam will come in. And Boyce will sit down. So for the second time. It is set point for the Augies. And make the switch, so it's Fullerton, Quam, Lang, Jerdy, Nierengarten, and Rios for your Augies. The moisture on the floor is very humid here, here in the gym here today. Lexi Lang, Lang will serve for the Augies. Lexi with the 11 aces down the season. Over the set, Lang sends it deep. Popped up by Embacher. Johnson goes far side, Holton shot. Blocked by the Yogis. And point for the Yogis. In the net called against Gustavus. Actually with a, a two hit call. And the Yogis win the first set 26 to 24. Yogis hit six different lane changes. Gustavus had two. Davis, their biggest lead was one. Augie's biggest lead was six. He had nine ties and a couple of dunk, uh, couple of uh, lead changes in the match. Augie game day here on Augie Game Central. Where did that lead ball? Whether it's across town or across country, let Minnesota coaches quality equipment and experienced courteous drivers provide you worry-free transportation. Overnight and extended trip options are available. Visit www.minnesotacoaches.com today. Request a quote. Minnesota Coaches, the official bus provider for Augie Athletics. Stay in the center ball. The action at Courtyard of Minneapolis downtown with the Bistro, the bar, the Bistro Bar, and Media Pod, tech enabled guest rooms, free Wi Fi, and more. Courtyard helps you put more play in your stay. Visit them at courtyardminneapolis.com slash Augsburg. Make room for a little fun at the Courtyard. And first of all, the stats for Gus Davis, and they hit 086. Okay, there we go. It's on two. Yeah. All right, we're back. I think a little technical difficulties. Right. Let's see.
Well, I hope. Yeah, I guess we're now we're back. Glenn Thompson, my engineer, said we were having some issues on the audio, fading in and out. We apologize. Hopefully, we're running smooth here. And take a look at Kelly's stats here in that first set again. The Augies hit 278. Chris Davis hitting 257. Five aces for the Gusties. The Augies had four. Augies with a couple of blocks. Augies 14 kills, four by Drudding. One for Barr, one for Quam, two for Evans, two for Nierengarden, three for Jade Fullerton, one for Jade Boyson. Kate Holton leading the way for the Gusties with four. Two for Elliott, two for Sidney Olson. And they had one block. That was a double block variety. Service aces, five of them, two by Haley Embacher. Hoggins with four races by four different players. We had nine ties. How was my math? Yes. <laughs> And we have three lead changes, not two. There we go. Augies will be in the court to our left. Gusty's in the court to our right. We will start the second set of this best three out of five match. Gusty will with Kaylin Johnston. And it'll be Kaylin Johnston to serve. Freshman center for the Gusty's. one nothing Augies. Winning 26-24 off the serve, and sends it deep and out of bounds. Service air for the Gusties. And that is service air number three. On nothing in favor of Augsburg. Served by Maddie Nierengarden. Low, low pass, but kept alive, and... Sent across by Herman and our freshman Sarah Elliott. Elliott will score for the Gusties to tie it up. Sarah Elliott will pick up her fourth kill. We're tied at one lot. And more students keep coming into the gym. And off the serve, Augie Ball, middle set. Evans shot, nice block. And Evans with a free ball, and the ball was out of bounds. Was that a four-hit call? Anyway, the Augies will pick up the point. Rios will come out. Cookie Tony will come in. Evans will come out. And Jade Fuller will come in. Serving a Shonia in a 2-1 Augie lead. And off the serve in that back row up front for Johnson. Near side, Holton. Kate down the line. It is out of bounds. Kate Holton picking up her third air point for the Augies. It is 3-1. So Shonia, Nierengarten, Jurdy, Fullerton, Boyson, and Barr, and okay, Shonia with an ace for the Augies. Augies have their fifth ace tonight. And let's see for Cookie, that is her second ace. And off the serve, Johnson up front, free ball tipped by Jurdy, and it is good. He had a Jurdy on a free ball. Came to the net and Kayla tipped it down and good. And the Augies have scored four in a row. It's 5 1 here in the second set on game night here on Augie Game Central. Next volleyball broadcast will be next one as a part of Homecoming Week. Homecoming activities will have the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies, the reception at the Hagsburg Center, and then across the street we'll go to the chapel. We honor five from the Augie community, including Devin George and Scotty Bistendall. Ken Novank, head coach at Hopkins High School. He went to school here. And a pretty decent basketball career, at coaching career in basketball. Ken Novak Jr. and senior. I don't know if his, his dad continues to coach yet or not. Take a drip down memory lane at memory lanes and flashback cafe on 26th Avenue. South Minneapolis, 30 bowling lanes, live entertainment, great food, and two game rooms. Make for a great time. Visit www.memorylanesmpls.com for more information. 
Get away from Sharon Kelly. Then taps it upstairs. Cook is showing you. At the line, serving for the Yogis at 5 1. Second set. And off the serve, Gusty Ball. Near side, Holton shot to the block and good. Okay, Holton picks up number five. It'll be two serving five. Sydney Olsen. Sydney Wells will come up front. Sydney Olsen. Right to left. Falls play on the floor at six feet. And she sends one deep and out of bounds. Service here, number four. And with that, Sydney will come up. And Haley Embacher will come back in. Bar and Boyce will come out. Lang and Quam will come back in for the Yongies. Six serving two. Good serve. Up front, Johnson pushes it across. Sent back there by the Yongies. And Lexi Lang, they're set the near side. Kate Holton shot is blocked by the Yongies. Gusty ball, Johnson. Back row, Kate Holton has to bump it across. Set up middle. Fullerton in the net. Kate Fullerton missed time to jump. And Matea Chance will come in at that center spot. And Anneli Olsen Sola out of Northfield will come in to play the middle. Johnson served back row, popped up, up front and line, back set, Fullerton shot, scores! Jade Fullerton picking up the kill for the Yongis, and Jade has her fifth kill. The Yongis by four. At seven to three. Thirty to serve. Kayla in the net. Service air, number eight tonight. Remember the huggy invite, volleyball invite, and serving was not her strong point. Served by Holton, Augie ball, Lang, middle, Fullerton, shot blocked, and it goes out of bounds. Fullerton will get the point. The block went out of bounds, didn't find fear of territory, so Jade is going to get another one. And it's kill number five, eight to four. Evans will come in, Shonya will come out for the Augies. And Jalen Rios back at the service line. Out labor room. 8 4 service. Gusty ball. Johnson middle. No backs at right side. And put down and good off that right side. I believe that was Olsen Sola getting it. Yep. Anneli will get the. Sola will get the kill. That is their first. It'll be five serving eight. As Hilly Mbaka will go back to the service line. Mbaka back row. Nice dig off the floor. Lang far side, down the line near in garden. Popped up by Johnson from the back row. Kate Holton sends it deep. High in the air. Back row, Quam, who's got it? Still behind the line. Sent across. And back row goes up front. Johnson goes middle. Shot blocked by Evans. Green Evans with a solo black. Green Evans gets the Yogis a four-point lead at nine to five. And Green up on the season. I'm going to get solo box to she him now. That's her 14th. <laughs> 14th solo block. And a little tall work once again on the floor as he bars back in. Coach Gene Becker had a birthday not too long ago in the last week or so. Izzy Barr, Kayla Drudy, Jalen Rios, Matty Neardengarden, Shane Boyson, and Kareen Evans. Johnson, Olsen, and Olsen out there. Olsen Sola. Gusty ball, Johnson backs it, shot by Sidney, sends it deep and out of bounds. Sidney Olsen on the back set, the slide move, and it went deep. Attack here for the Gusties, that is their 13th. It'll be 10, serving five. Bar again, floats it across, and Bakker goes up front, Johnson goes near side, and the shot is blocked at the net by Ryan Herman, and it's pushed across, there's Rios to save. Bar sets the middle, Karina's shot is blocked, saved there by Nierengarten. Back to Matty, left side, cross court. Embacher pops it up front. Johnson, middle, shot through Olsen. It's good. Sydney Olsen through the hands of Karina Evans. And Sydney Olsen will pick up her third kill. Kaelin Johnson will come in. Olsen Sula will come out. Elliot will come in. And let's see. It was Johnson going out, and a service here by the Gusties. Neither coach has to be two plays with the service game. That's five service here for the Gusties. The Augies have seven. Augies still hitting 289. 11 serving six for Maddie Neardengarden. 
Good hard serve, back row, popped up there by Herman. They go near side, shot cross court. Elliott scores. Sir Elliott off the left pin, went press court and found the floor. Elliott will pick up kill number four. It'll be seven, serving 11. Herman, 5 9, first year. And sends a deep, popped up by Nierengarten. Up front, bar, middle, shot by Dirty Block, sent across by Corinne Evans. And Bacher goes up front. They go back, set right side, shot blocked by the Elgis, set back by the Gusties. Bar for Evans, floats it down the line. And Bacher saves it with one hand, but nobody can get to the pass. And Corinne has another kill, her fourth in the Elgis lead by five at 12 to 7. Ryan Herman will come out. Kylie Cox from the Park Center Pirate coming in. And Evans will come out. Cook has shown you. We'll go back to the service line for the Elgis. Cookies serve. And the back row picking up Kylie Cox. They go right side. Shot down the line. Elliott's. It is out of bounds. Line John ruled it. Out of bounds. Kylie Cox found the miss hit. Point for the Elgis. And they lead now by six. At 13 to 7 here in the second set. After winning the first set. And let's go to the school board and UW Oshkosh won their ninth, eighth match of the year. They defeated St. Thomas at home by a score of three to two. Now how about Bethel and River Falls? Let's see what we can find there. And they're in the third set. Bethel wins the match over River Falls three to nothing. Bethel with the win. Come on, computer, help me out a little bit. How about uh, St. Olaf having a great year? And it looks like they don't have any stats. Down there in Cedar Rapids. Cameron having a good year, taking on Crown tonight at home at Hot Arena. It is 13 7 as we come back. And the Pipers don't have the stance up. 13 serving 7. Shonia floats it across. Up front, Johnson goes near side. Holton, Kate puts it over the double block. Oh, what a save by Izzy, but nobody can get to the pass. Izzy lay it out, scraped it off the floor, but nobody can get to it. Double hit called against the Yogis. It'll be nine serving 13. Going back to the service line is Sidney Olson. And a little tunnel work there from Matty. St. Thomas playing at UW Stevens Point. They lost their first match. They're playing Milliken tonight in a 7 o'clock match. And trailing in the third set. Off the serve, Augie ball, out front, bar, left side, dirty, partially blocked. Back row played up front by Cox, floated across by Johnston. Boyson sets up, dirty again, Kayla scores! Kayla dirty off that left pin, and Kay Kayla hammers one home. That is kill number six, it'll be 14 to eight. Barn comes out, Boyson comes out, Lang comes in, Quam comes in for the August. Augie leading one nothing, and now 14 to eight here in the Second set, hitting 300 so far here tonight. The serve by Lang. They go up front, near side. Holton tipped it through the double block, and we got called. Gus Davis did get called for in the net. And Jade Fullerton went down. It looks like she rolled her ankle. And Jade has to be held to the bench. Jade Fullerton. Green Evans was out last week with a camp injury. And looks like the Yongies will send in to play the middle is 
Our first year player from New York Mills, Madeline Earp, six foot first year, will come in to play the middle. Madeline Earp coming in. Madeline, this will be the sixth match she's played in. Training staff, our outstanding training staff here at Augsburg, taking a look at Jade. Jane Becker standing there with a very concerned look on her face. 15 to 8, Luxie Lang and the Augies left to right in the net. Lang with the service here, number 8, 9 serving 15. Olsen Solo will come in, Johnson will come out. Johnson will come in, and Sarah Elliott will sit down for the Gusties. And off the serve, I save the back row up front, and Kwon can't get to the pass. That'll go in the book is an ace. Four hits called against the Augies. That'll go in the book has an ace, 10, serving 15, getting the ace. Well, it's Matea Johnson, Augie ball, back set, right side dirty, puts one down, nice save by M. Bucker. High in the air by Cox. Holt it, holds it over the double block, and there's Lang. Rios, back set, right side dirty, down, and it's popped up there by Connie Cox. Up front, it's bumped across by Kakea Welsh. Pushed across by Lang, and it's saved. Augie ball, who's got it? Erp, Madeline, first touch. Dirty sends it deep. Embacher goes up front. Chasson goes back to right side. Sidney Olson sends it across. Augie ball, free ball. And Holton with a block. Augie is safe. Guam shot is blocked. Saved by Rios. Lang, far side. Dirty shot black. Saved by Rios. And Dirty can't get to it. Gustavus, great rally. And a block by Gustavus. And as the Gusties have closed the margin to 11 serving 15 here in the second set. As Davis came back in that first set down by six and got it to 23 all, to 24 all before the Augies would score the final two points. Oh, the match to win it. Corner Bar is a proud sponsor of Augsburg Athletics located in the historic Seven Corners District. The Corner Bar is the perfect place for a great food, outstanding pizza and the almost world-famous Joy Wings. And there's tons of screens, so you won't miss a second of the action. Visit the corner dot bar for more information on the corner bar. And Twin City Orthopedics proud to be the official sports medicine provider for Augsburg Athletics. TCO is an all-inclusive orthopedic sports medicine and wellness provider offering world-class services, state-of-the-art facilities. Visit them at tcomn.com. And take a look at the soccer game. Trying to find the score there. Looks like it's 3 nothing in the first half for the Augies. Getting back to action. 11 serving 15. It'll be Matea Johnson. Johnson served back row. Near and Garden goes up front. Lang. In the middle, shot by Dirty. It is blocked. Saved by Earp. Lang pushes it across. Cox goes high in the air, near side. Holton off the double block. Saved by the Augies. Lang goes back set, right side. Shot by Quam. Block. Augie ball. Lang back set, far side. And Dirty sends it deep. And Bakker up front. They set Holton up again. This time through the block and scores. Kate Holton leading score tonight. Now with seven kills, it'll be 12, serving 15. Kate Holton has seven of their 16 kills so far tonight. Again, Jade Fullerton going down with an ankle injury. And, and Ellie Hamze was in street clothes, so that's another of our middle hitters. All of a sudden, that position has us all concerned. Green Evans was injured last week. Again, it's very humid here in the gym, a very muggy day. And they continue to do some towel work down there. Now we're set to go. And off the serve, Augie ball. Lang goes up front, left side, Jerdy sends it cross court. 
Popped up, up front, Chassett sets the middle, shot put down, saved by the Augies, but nobody can get to the pass. And the shot in the goal, the point by Kakea Welsh. By the way, second half it is, Augsburg 3, Northwestern nothing. 13, serving 15. Augie ball, Lang goes middle, shot by Jerdy, into the block. Oh, they ruled that it was blocked, but it fell on the wrong side of the net. They're going to give Kittle a point for that? Okay. 16, serving 13. A Stavis ball, and it's popped across by Kate Holton. Lang goes back to the right side, Quam scores! Megan Quam for the Augies. He goes right down the line on the passing shot. Hugh picking at the point will be 17, serving 13. And up the serve, and it is touched on the way out by Kylie Cox. And it's 18 13. Serving is Kayla Jurdy. And Bacchus pass up for Chasson. Goes back to the right side. Kate Holden saved by the Augies. And kept alive by Madeline Nerf and Jalen Reyes will send it over. In the middle, they put it down. And a shot by Welsh. It's Augie Ball. Third hit. Jurdy gets blocked, but it goes out of bounds. So Jurdy will get her eighth kill to lay the Augies. It's a six point Augie lead at 19 to 13. Augie's live it all the way here in the second set. They've had one tie. He'll have seven of our 23 kills tonight. Jordy again, floats it deep. Holton goes up front. Johnson back to Kate, left pin. Put down Rios, what a save. Kept alive by Lang, and Madeline Earp miss hit it. Earp with the miss hit in the middle. Attack here from Matting. Point for the Gusties, 14, serving 19. Herman will come in for the Gusties. Cody Cox will sit out. Kate Holton will go back to the service line. 14, serving 19, back row. Jordy goes up front, Lang, back set, Quam floats it over the double block, and I believe called for in the net was Ryan Herman. Point for the Augies, 20 to 14. Evans will come in. Rios will come in. Earp will come out, and Shunya will come out. Rios to serve 20 to 14, second set, Augies leading one to nothing. Timeout called by the referee, okay. Now the go-ahead for Jalen. And sends a deep. Embacher goes up front. Chasser goes back to the right side. Shot put down by Olsen Sola. Augie ball, third hit. Nierengarten sends a deep and scores! Maddie Nierengarten off the hands of Embacher. And Maddie will pick up her fourth kill here. It is 21-14. Augies by seven. Their biggest lead in the first set was six. Augie's 10 and 2 on the season. Served by Rio. Just clears the net. Back row up front, near side. Shot through the block. And good by Ryan Herman. Point for the Gassies. 15, serving 21. And for Ryan Herman, that is her third kill tonight. And they rotate and send uh, Haley Imbach here back to the service line. Sends a deep. Popped up there by Nieren Garden. Line goes back set for Karina. Cold shot is. Kept alive, free ball killed, this time scores! Gusty's nice three hit save, but Karina had a free ball and she buried it. And for Cole, that's her fifth kill. Barr coming in, Boyson coming in, Quam coming out, Lang coming out, 22 15 here in the second set. Again, early second half upstairs, it is Augsburg three and Northwestern nothing. In women's soccer, the Augies looking for their fourth win of the year. Big match tomorrow night, Augsburg and St. Thomas. Trout and Beatty will have the call of that. Augies trying to rebound after the tough loss at McAllister the other night. They lost to the Scots by a score of 4-1. to one. It's their second loss of the season. Football tomorrow afternoon. Up at Jake Christensen Stadium in Moorhead. The Cobbers and the Augies. Izzy Barr to serve at 22-15. Barr floats it over the double block. 
Herman goes up front. Chassis goes back to the right side. Put down. Oh, what a save. And Rios keeps it alive. What a save by Barr. Dusty ball again. Chasson goes middle. Floated down the line by Sidney Olsen. There's Barr again. High in the air. Evans right side. Boyson sends it over. Embacher keeps it alive. And the Gusties can't get to it on the fourth hit. A four hit call against Gustavus. And attack here. Number 12. The Augies here is double set point at 23 to 15. Served by Barr. Embacher pass up from Chasson. Near side. That should be a carry. It is. Yep, two-hit call. Out again, it's Matea Johnson. Here is set point for the Augies and a nine-point lead at 24 to 15. MIAC conference opener for the Augies. And served by Barchess, clears the net. Johnson up front, near side. Herman shot blocked by the Augies. Kept alive by Embacher. Johnson middle, put down by Sidney Olsen. Augie ball off the ceiling, and it's out of bounds. Off the ceiling, evidently it's out of bounds. And coming in to the match is Caitlin Johnston and Sir Elliott coming out for the Gusties is Annalisa Olson Sola. And Matea Johnson served by Johnston. Augie Ball up front, left side near Garden for the set, and she does get it. Maddie Dan Garden will give the Augie the second set at 25 to 16, and they lead the match. Two sets to doubling. Augie game night here on Augie Game Central. You have a group that requires transportation. Minnesota coaches can provide you with safe, clean, friendly, and timely charter transportation service no matter what size your group, no matter where your pickup or destination. Visit www.minnesotacoaches.com today to request a quote. Minnesota Coaches, the official bus provider for Augsburg Athletics. Feeding a group, Devonix Pizza and Hot Hoagies has you covered. Not only do they offer many catering options, but they now have group ordering. When you order online, you can pay as a group or pay individually and always order what you want. Order now at Devonis.com. Again, you and Richie Sharon coming here tonight from Ernie Anderson Court. Taking a look at the August stance and again hitting 296 tonight. Well, oh, those are big 10 numbers. 28 kills tonight for the August. Serving the apartment, not so much. Servers here, eight of them. We do have six servant aces. And the aces for the young A's, let's see. One for Jalen Rios. Two for Kayla Dritty. A correction, uh, Kayla Dritty has one. Izzy Barr has one. Lexi Lang has one. Cookie Shonya has one. And Maddie Nierengarten has one. Thank you, Ashley. Wilson with the stats. Augie is now with three blocks on the night. The Davis has two. Six aces for the Gusties, six for the Augies. Kayla Jurdy, seven kills to lead the way for the Augies. Barr has one. Quam three. Evans with five. Nearing Garden with five. Jade Fullerton with five, but unfortunately Jade is down with a rolled ankle. And Jade Boyson has two for the Gusties. Leading the way is Kate Holton with seven. Two for Ryan Herman, four for Sarah Elliott, one for Welsh, one for Analia Olson Sola, and four for Sydney Olson. Gusty's coming in at seven and six. The Yonges at ten and a two. We mentioned special night. These two programs, Augsburg and Gustavus players taking part in a lace up for pediatric cancer match, wearing purchase shoelaces that support the Go for the Gold campaign. 100% of all monetary donations tonight will go back to helping kids with cancer and their families in Minnesota. And you can donate tonight as well. The goals, mission statement, our unwavering mission is to improve the lives of children battling cancer by providing financial support, developing and implementing unique hospital programs, funding innovative research, and granting personal wishes. Through our firsthand experience with pediatric cancer and our medical background, that go for the goal provides the best practices to patients, the families, and the hospitals and staff that care for them. Mentioned St. Thomas losing their first match. And let's see. If we got any other scores around the MIC in volleyball. Just at the Tommy's loss to Oshkosh 
by a score of three to two. And the rest of the scoreboard is empty. Augie's led all the way in that second set. Augie's in the court right in front of us. And looks like Katie O'Rourke is going to play this set. Katie came in as a setter, but she's going to play the middle. Katie O'Rourke is a 5'10 first year out of Irondale, Minnesota. So Evans, Neerton Garden, and O'Rourke. Marjorie and Rios, Gusty Ball, Johnson far side, Herman down the line and scores. Ryan Herman gives the Gusties their first lead of this third set. Ryan Herman will pick up her third kill. And Ryan will go back to the service line, left to right for the Gusties. Sends it across, they're going to buy Jerdy. Bar for Evans, right side. Popped it up by M. Bucker in the back, back row. Colton sends it over on the tip. Played up front, Bar. Quick sets the middle. Evans, and she scores. Green Evans scoring for the Augies, and Cole has her sixth kill. And we're tied up at 1-1. And Maddie Dierengarden serving for the Augies. Maddie has one of her aces tonight, one of our six. Dierengarden served, back row, and Bacher up front. Johnson goes left side, Holton shot, scores. Kate Holden, passing shot right down the line. And she has her eighth kill. And it is two to one in favor of the Gusties. Sydney Olsen back of the service line. And now Kakea Welsh will come in. The play up front. Sydney serve back roll. Jerdy's pass for Barr. Left side near a Jerdy shot. Good. Kayla Jerdy off the block. And Kayla has eight tonight. And the Augie tied up at 2-2. Evans comes out. Shoney will come in. Rios will come out. And Boyce will come back in. Boyson O'Rourke and Jerdy up front. And the serve by Shonia. Played up front. Johnson goes back to right side. Shot put across by Elliott. Augie ball. Sending up Kayla. Shot put down and sent back by Hermit. Augie ball in the middle. It is Boyson. I think O'Rourke had called for a carry. Yep. Katie got called for the carry on the hit. And a point for the Gustings. And coming in is Matea Jensen to serve. That means center Kaelin Jensen will come up. Jensen serve. Augie ball. Third hit. Middle. Put down by O'Rourke. And set back but out of bounds. There we go. Katie O'Rourke will pick up the point. Her first tonight. And for Kitty, just your, let's see, your 10th kill so far this season. We're tied at three. Lying in, Nierengarten, Boyson, Quam, Jerdy, and Rios now on the floor for the Augies. Lang serve at three on. And Bucker up front. Chatson goes left side, Holton shot. Nice save by Luxie Lang from the back row. Rios will send it over. And Bucker's low pass. Chatson goes back set. Shot put down and do it. Off the hands of the Augies. Annalie Osensola picking up the kill. And Gusty's lead by score four to three. And Kate Holton back at the service line. Kate's out of Manchester Mill. There's a shot off the right side by Boyson. We got three former Mayo Spartans in the match here tonight. Augies tied up. It's four four. And the save by Caleb back row. M. Bunker's pass up front. Johnson goes left side. And Herman puts it down the line. I'd do it. Ryan Herman gives the Gussies the lead back at 5-4. to four. And Herman will pick up her fourth kill. M. Bunker and the Gusties. M. Bunker's back row pass. Near and Garden up front. Back set. Quam puts it cross court. Saved in that back row by Johnson. Here's Herman. Puts it in the net. Ryan Herman off the left pin. Attack here. Point for the Augies. It's 5-5. As we're trading points here in the third set. Augsburg leading 2-0. Boyson will come out. 
Evans will come in. Shunyan will come on. And Jalen Rios coming in for the Augies. Rios sends it deep. And Bucker high in the air. Back row Johnson goes up front. Herman bumps it across. Augie just set it up. Lexi tips it across. And it's saved by the Gusties and bumped across by Sidney Olson. Rios for Lang. Evan tips it down the line, but out of bounds. Karina with a rare service error. That's her first air tonight. It'll be six, serving five. As Johnson will come out and Johnson will come in. And also will come in. Off the serve, gives his pass up front for Lang. In the middle, put down by Quam, and it's out of bounds. They back set the middle. Quam on the slide into the middle, and Gustavus has the biggest lead at seven to five. And the serve by Kalen Johnston. Augie ball, right pin. Quam pulls it across, and it goes out of bounds. Two with two errors in a row. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the Yogis and the Augusta make it a three-point lead. And then giving it back is Kaylin Johnston on a service here. Bar in, Quam up, Lang out, and Katie O'Rourke back into the match. For the Yogis, we have a couple of former Irondale Knights on the roster this year. And off the serve. Johnson goes back set, tipped at the net, blocked by Evans. Augie's near and Garden and Korean Evans combined on the block. It'll be seven, serving eight. Cheyenne Keywell and Katie O'Rourke, the form, two former Iron Delt players, served by Izzy Barr, trying to get a tie. Gusty ball, third in, put down the line by Elliott, saved there by Barr. Behind the line, near and Garden will send it back down low. Embacher up front. Johnson sets the right side, shot put down. Oh, what a save by Dirty. Third it right side. Katie goes cross court and it's popped up by the Gusties. They go right side, put down through the black and good by Elliott. Sir Elliott off the right pin. And Sarah picks up her fifth kill. It is 9-7 Gustavus, third set. All good leading 2-0. Evans O'Rourke. Barn near and garden. Rios and Drudy on the floor for your Augies. Serving is Ryan Herman. Augie ball. In the middle, Evans puts one down and scores. Green Evans gets that one back. Cole has her seventh kill. It'll be eight, serving nine. And Maddie Nierengard will serve. Augie's now with 10 attackers. We're here. Our hitting percentage is down to 274. Nierengard serve. Nice serve. And who's got it? Johnson at the net. Tipped over by Holton. Augie ball, cross court near side. Dirty shifts it down, sent back by Embugger. Rios for Barr, back to Kayla. Shot in black by the Gusties. Boy, the Gusties saw that one coming. They stepped Kayla Dritty. And the Gusties will pick up their third black of the night. It'll be 10, serving eight. Coming in is Sidney Olsen and Ryan Herman will sit down. Also coming into the match is Kaikea Welsh. Some discussion here at the scores table. Yeah. And our next broadcast will be next Wednesday night. Homecoming week, the Augies and the Carls the Knights. Sidney Olson for the Gussies, left to right. Rios is passed up front. They go middle. Evan shot is blocked. Saved by the Augies and bumped across by Jerdy. Up front, backs it, right side shot. Blocked by the Augies. Evans and Jerdy combine on their fifth block. Oh, they give the point to Gustavus? They gave the point to Gustavus. Evidently, Augies were on the, in the net. All right, 11 serving eight, Sidney Olsen. Augie will off the serve, back set for Evans. She gets blocked again. Two straight blocks for the Gusties. It'll 12 to eight. And Coach Jean Becker wants to call timeout. Timeout on the floor. Augie game night here on Augie Game Central. For updates and information on all Longford University sports, check out our athletic website at athletic.ongford.edu. 
updating constantly with all the information, all 22 of our Augie Varsity Sports. It's your online home for Augie Athletics. If it's happening in Augie Sports, it's online at athletics.augsburg.edu. Don't forget, homecoming week next week, all kicked off by the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies at Everston Chapel on a Tuesday night. Volleyball on Wednesday night. Of course, the football game, the Augies and the Oles at E. Nord Elson Field a week from Saturday. Homecoming week for the Augies. Hopefully the Augies can get back on track, pick up a win up in the Red River Valley, and come home with a two and one record. And Coach Jane Becker hampered a little bit with Jade Fullerton going down. She's used a couple of first year medals in Katie O'Rourke and Madeline Earp. Now last week when Karina Evans went down, I know Coach Becker moved Jade Boyson into the middle. But we need the depth on that right side. So it's Katie O'Rourke, Karina Evans, Keila Driddy, Maddie Nearden Garden, Izzy Barr, and Jalen Rios on the floor. Serving is Sydney Olson for the Gussies, leading 12-8, their first lead since the first set. Augie led all the way in sec two. Augie ball, bar, near side. Kayla over the double block, popped up. Johnson goes far side for Holden. Kate sends it over and scores. Kate Holden knocking on the door. She's got nine. Looking to be first player in double figures. 13 serving eight. As Katie O'Rourke will come out. Lexi Lang will come in for your Augies. We're going to go with two setters in the lineup. Lang and Barr both on the floor. Sidney Olsen serve. Up front for Lang. Near side for Jerdy. Sends it down the line. Played up front by Sidney Olsen. Pushed across by Johnson. Here's Lang again in the middle. Evan tips it over right down the pipeline. Far side for Kate Holton behind the line. He is up the hands of the Yogis and a score. A kill for Kate Holton. She's got 10. And Gus Davis leads by six at 14 to eight. And get this turned around, otherwise we're gonna head for a fourth set. Sydney Olsen serving, back row, and Jordy up for a high pass. Tipped across by Lang, played by the Gussies. Left side, Holton, shot down the line, out of bounds. It hit the antenna. Kate Holton's shot was out of bounds, point for the August. It'll be nine serving 14. Rio shot, Boyson in, Evans out, Shoney in for the August. Augie's with six aces. Cookie, we could use about three in a row right here. And Bacher's pass up front. Left set for Kate Holden. Nice save by Barr. Back row near and guard for Lang. Sends it over. Got the ball. Johnston goes middle. Put down the line by Olsen Sola. Lang up front. Back set for Boyson. And it's saved there by Barr. Left side again for Kate Holden. And she hits it in the net. Kate Holden on the attack here. Her sixth point for the Augie. Number 10 serving 14. Shonia, Nierengarten, Barr, Lang, Boyson, and Jerdy on the floor for the Augies. And, oh, in the net. Service here by Cookie. Point for the Gusties. And now Matea Johnson will come in. And Olsen Sola will come in. Johnson will come out. And Sir Elliott will come out. And Matea will go to the service line. 15, serving 10 here in the third set. Augies leading two to nothing. Augie ball, Lang back set, Jade Boyson down the line, and it is saved up the net. In the middle, put down, and good! They quick set the middle, and Kakea Welsh getting the point. 16 to 10, Gus Davis now with a six point lead. And the Augies use their second and final timeout here in the third set. Hamlin defeating Crown three to nothing. Lawrence County ran their record to 11 and three. They defeated St. Mary's earlier tonight by a score of three to two. St. Thomas playing Milliken right now over at the Stevens Point. St. Olaf and Cole down in Iowa. Wartburg in Pillow, Iowa for the Central Grinnell Invitational. Rippon Cottage and St. Mary's down in Cedar Rapids as well. Some of the other matches going on tonight. Again, non-conference in the MIC. 
Three matches have been played so far in the conference schedule. St. Ben's, Hamlin, Carlton are all winners in the first night. St. Ben's, eighth of the country, with the best record at 12 and one. Matea Johnson serving for the Gusties. And the Yogi's going with the two setters on the floor. Johnson serve. Near and Garden for Barr. Near side for Dirty. Kayla goes cross court. Popped up there by Cox. In the middle. Tipped across by the Gusties. From the back row. Near Garden takes off and sends it deep. And Buckers pass up front. They go left side. Put down shot. Blocked, but it's out of bounds. Point for the Yogi's. Blocked by the Gusties. But off that right side, a kill for Boyce. And Barr will come out. Quam will come in. Point for the Yogi's. It'll be 11, serving 16. Third for Lexi Lang, deep and out of bounds. Service here, number 10 for the Orcas. Ryan Herman will come in. And County Cox will come out for the Gusties. Kate Holton serving for the Gusties. Pass up front for Lang. Middle, Boyce and tips it through the double block. Embacher with a nice save. Johnson puts the middle and puts it down the pipeline and scores. Kakea Walsh right down the pipeline. It's 18-11. Kakea, excuse me. Kakea, that's her third kill. And the Gusties had their biggest lead of the set and the match at 18-11. Richard Sheridan, head coach, new mom, got a little one, about nine months old. Last time I saw her, she was <laughs> deeply pregnant. Playoffs last year down in St. Peter. In the middle, shot by Jordy is blocked by the Gusties. Line goes back set for Jade Boyson, partially blocked. Gusty ball, right side, put through the block. No, nope, blocked by the Augies. Now two hit call against Gustavus. Two hit call, point for the Augies. It'll be 12, serving 18. So Nierengarten, Quam and Boyce in that front. Back to one setter. There's Lang, Rios, and Jerdy on the floor for the Augies. Served by Kato, sends it deep. Up front, Johnson goes left side. Shot blocked by the Augies. Quam and Boyce and combined on the block. They stopped Ryan Herman. Point for the Augies on their fifth block of the night. It'll be 13, serving 18. Augie's two losses at the opening match of the season and lost last weekend to Lower's Cottage. Johnson, right side, put down by Johnson and by uh, Welsh, and it's good. Kaikea Ky- Ky- Welsh picking up the kill. And Kay has her fourth kill. 19 serving 13. Bacher back to the service line. There's Holton, there's Johnson. Olsen Sola, Sidney Olsen. On the floor, and I'm missing one number. Herman, Ryan Herman is out there. For the black and goal, poor Gus Davis. And Bacher puts it in the net. This is the point back. Seventh the service there for the Gusties. 14, serving 19. Shonia comes out. Evans comes back in to play the middle. Rio will so go back to the service line. So Plum, Evans, and Nuren Garden up front. Lang, Jurdy, and Rios in the back room. Jalen's good hard serve. Played up front. Johnson goes back set right side. And it's up the block of the Augies and out of bounds. Nice swing, nice attack by Anneli. It is 20, serving 14. And the two sevens coming in. Kaelin Johnston and Sir Elliott. Johnston. The other setter for the Gusties and sends a deep reels this pass up from Lang, middle, Evans set and is dug out in the back row and bumped across. Saved there by Quam. Lang pushes it deep and Bucker's pass goes up front. Johnson goes middle. Put down and deep and out of bounds by Sidney Olsen. Attack here. They say the Augies touch it on the way out. 21-14. And a point for Sidney Olsen. Put it across, near and guard for Lang. Back set Quam, Q shot is out of bounds. Megan Quam trying to go passing shot right down the line. 
An attack here for the Augies. Their attack percentage, which was over 300. Now down to 218, 22-14. Augie ball. Lang up front, near side. Evans down the line. Embacher goes high in the air. Johnson goes left side for Ryan Herman. Tips it down the line and scores. Ryan Herman found an opening. And Ryan has her fifth kill. Here, double set point for Gus Davis. 23-14. to 14. In favor of Gus Davis. Johnson serve. Augie ball up front. In the middle. Tipped down the line by Quam. It is good. Megan Quam goes right down the pipeline and picks up her fourth kill. Izzy Barb will come in. Megan Quam will sit at 15, serving 23. Bar, Dritty, Rios, Nearing Garden, Lang, and Evans on the floor. And up the serve. Popped up in that back row. They go left side and tipped across by Sir Elliott. Sent back by the Augies. As Karina Evans will pick up the kill. And for Cole, that's her eighth. 16, serving 23. Augies have 35 kills. Cole has eight. Dirty has eight. And this is set three. Men's golf team is at St. John's tomorrow. There's Eric Rowland over there. They'll head up to Suck Center and Sartell. Is that, is that the Great Eagle course up there? Here's Izzy Barr, 16, serving 23. Back row for Herman. They go up front, still in the back row. Holton will send it over. Time to set it up. Lang, backs it, slide. Evans, shot, scores! Green Evans with nine, and we're within six. 17, serving 23. Long ways to go, but there's hope. Barr sends it over on a nice floater. Johnson goes left side and put down the line, and good. That's the, that'll put it, <laughs> everything to rest here. Uh, Elliott scores for the Gusties, and here is set point for Gus Davis. Seven and six on the season. After setting the year four, no. 24-17 for Ryan Herman. And the serve in that back row. Played up front for Barr. Sets up Evans. Tips it down the line and out of bounds. Karina Evans on the attack here. Point for Gustavus. And they've cut this margin to 25. 25-17. And cut the lead in this match. Two sets to one. And my AC volleyball here on Augie Game Central. You have what she... Sharon Company can listen and watch more than 130 live Augsburg sporting events online by going to our website at athletics.augsburg.edu. We have live webcasts in 11 different sports during the school year. Our Game Central portal features live webcasts along with live statistics of home events. You also be able to watch and listen to our archive of men, shine man. Go online to athletics.augsburg.edu and click on the fan zone link or click the Augie live link on game days. At Courtyard Minneapolis downtown, business travel isn't something you have to do. It's something you get to do. The redesigned guest rooms are built for business with comfortable workspaces, tech drop ledges, and everything you need to be productive. Visit them at CourtyardMinneapolis.com. At the Courtyard Minneapolis downtown, it's a new stay. And owned and operated by Nonkerberg Alumni 360 Wall Inc. of the parent company, the several up-and-coming brands in the Twin Cities, 1-800-GOD-JUNKIE-MOVING-SHACKSHINE, if you're looking for a great job and a great team with great pay that is near campus, learn more or apply online by visiting 360wallinc.com. Now 4-0 Augsburg in the second half against North Washington. Augsburg attack percentage. 278 in the first set, 314 in the second set. Just 0 56 here in the third set. Meanwhile, Gustavus turned the tables, hit 323 in that set, now hitting 186. 34 kills for the Gassies, 37 for the Augies. Serving department, 6 and 7 for Gustavus, 6 and 10 for the Augies. Augies with 5 blocks and Gustavus with 4. We had 5 ties in that third set, but the Augies never let. Individual totals, Kate Holton, 10 for the Gustavus. Ryan Herman has five. Sarah Elliott has seven. Kakea Welsh has four. 
Annalie Olson Sula has three, and Sydney Olson has six for the Augies. Keanu Drudy with eight. Izzy Barr one, Lexi Lang one, or two setters. Megan Quam four, Kareen Evans with nine. Maddie Neardengarden with five, Katie O'Rourke with one, Jade Fullerton with five, Jade Boyson has three. Jade Bulletin has not returned to the mattress. She rolled her ankle back in the second set. Wishing the best of luck to our young lady out of Monsview. An important cog in the middle there. So 4 nothing Augsburg over Northwestern. Yep. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Augsburg and St. Thomas tomorrow night at Theodore Nelson Field. Football tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Augies and the Cobbers. That's three out of five. See if the Augies can seal the deal here. But Gus Davis riding the momentum. And the old serve first. Caitlin Johnston. Takea Welsh. Healy Embacher, Sarah Elliott. And Embacher will come in and Welsh will sit out. Herman Elliott and Sidney Olson up front. Serving is Kaylin Johnson. Four set. Underway, right to left for the Gusties. Johnson serve back row. Near and garden up front. Lang back set. Cold shot. It is popped up. Clean the air by Olson. Bumped across by Ryan Herman. Augie ball, Lang, cross court, far side, Meir and Garden gets blocked. Matty Nierengard not blocked on that left side. And Gustavus, Gustavus takes a one to nothing lead. And let's see, that is blocked, number four. Off the serve, saved by Rios, tipped across by Evans. Holton sends it deep, Lang up front. Backs it right side near Garden. Shot gets blocked. And another block for the Gusties. Matta getting stuffed not once but twice in a row. Two nothing in favor of the Gusties. Off the serve. There's an ace. An ace for the Gusties. And they pick up ace number seven this time. Picking up the ace is Caitlin Johnston. Leading server was Kate Holden with 22 coming in. Johnson Kayla had 16. It'd be tough to broadcast them if they've got three, two Johnson and one Johnston on their roster. Matea Johnson, Kaitlyn Johnston, and Ella Johnson out of Painesville. Up to serve by Johnston. Augie ball down by three. Back set, Evans sends it down. Embacher, nice save off the floor. They go back set, right side. Elliott sends it deep, and good. Sarah Elliott will pick up her eighth. And Gustavus has taken a four to nothing lead here in the fourth set. Augie's won the first two. Served by Johnson. There's Nierengarden, can't handle it. And another ace. And Coach Jane Becker wants a call timeout. And the Augies, this last set and a half, it just looked totally out of system. And with the injury to Jade Fullerton, Coach Becker had to change her substitution and rotation. rotation. And again, again, just out of sync. At times playing both setters on the floor. Trying to figure out how to plug that middle. Kareen Evans are only middle right now. They've used Madeline Earp. They've used Katie O'Rourke. They're using Boyson over there on the right side with Quant. Maddie Nierengarden and Kayla Jurdy on the left side. And Maddie's had a tough night. Maddie with three attackers. Five kills. Johnson, first year player. Women's 
Uh, there's four nothing or five nothing. Four nothing. Oh, this sounds like the final. Mm. Ken off the serve. Augie ball. Third hit. Climb down the line. And Bacher's pass up for Johnson. Near side. And shot blocked by the Augies as Ryan Herman shot. It was stuck. Going for the Augies. As we take up our sixth block. It'll be one serving five on the floor for the Maroon and Gray. Mirren Garden, Drudy, Rios, Quam, Evans. And off the serve, Embacher near side for Elliott through the double block, saved by Lang. And in the net. And who got that point? Augie's got the point, whatever it was. Misplayed by the Gusties. It'll be two serving five. A collision at the post here on the near side. They had to strap it down. That's it to go. All right, point for the Augies. Two is serving five for Niren Garden. And in that back row, popped up by Herman. Cross court near side. Elliott shot is deep and out of bounds. Sorry, Elliott on the attack here. The 19th for the Gusties. Three in a row for the Augies. Three serving five here in the fourth set. And off the serve, back row popped up by Herman. In the middle, put down by Sidney Olson. And scores! Sidney Olson, they quick set the middle. And Sidney found the floor for her sixth kill. Six serving three. Ryan Herman rotate to that back row and do the honors for the Gusties. Right to left. Fourth set. 2-1 Augies. Herman's serve back row. Out front line, middle. Tipped down by Evans. Popped up by Johnson. Right side for Elliott. Tips it over and scores. Sarah Elliott found an opening between the wall and the back row. And she's got eight. And it'll be seven serving three. And they continue to find wet spots on the floor. As Haley Embucker out there doing some mop work. So 4 0 the final or 4 0 second half. Augsburg women looking for their fourth win, leading Northwestern. You know, St. Kate's beat Northwestern here about a week ago and shut them out 3 0. Men's soccer tomorrow night, Augsburg and St. Thomas. So the guys uh, practicing as they walked in for the match set tonight earlier. Seven serving three, fourth set. And Herman sends a deep, popped up by Deer Garden. Back set for Quam. Q goes cross court, saved by Johnson. Embacher behind the line, pushed across by Herman. Near and Garden up front, line for Evans, puts this down the line, and scores! Green Evans scoring for the Yonkies, and she's in double figure. She has 10. Herman will come out. Connie Cox will come in for the Gusties. Kenda's been, Kenda Driddy's been quiet now for about the last hit. Green Evans has picked up the slack. It'll be four serving seven. Jade Boyson coming in. Driddy, Quam, and Boyson up front near and garden. Lang and Evans on the floor. And I think we're all set. Again, more towel work on the floor. You know, new points, I think we're over 60 today. And it seeped inside. It is a humid one here in the gym. It's cool. It's a wet cold. Off the serve, Embacher's pass up front. Johnson, near side, Kate Holton, off the double block, saved in the back row. The middle, put down by Boyson, out of bounds! Jade Boyson put one deep and out of bounds. Attack here by Jade. Point for the Gusties. Evans comes out. Rios will come back in. Sidney Olsen goes back to the service line. And now Megan Quam picks up the foul. And mopping up a wet spot on the floor. It's a brand new floor. What is it now in our second year? Evidently, doesn't <laughs> this new floor doesn't absorb water very well. 
A four-point lead for the Gaskies. Olsen clears the net. Up front, Lang. Backs it, Quam. Shot, Barkley block, and scores! Megan Quam off a double block, and Kewis, her fifth kill. Five serving eight. Quam comes out. Izzy Barb will come in. As Court Becker will go with the two setters in the lineup. Lexi Lang, a good offensive threat. In addition to being a great setter. Up front, near side, Kate Holden, and she scores. Kate Holden, Lang went up for the block, mismatch there. And Kate Holden has 11. Anneli Olsen Solo will come in. Matea Johnson will come in for the Gusties. And Elliot will come up. And Johnson will come up. Served by Matea. Augie Ball up front, backs it, Boyson. And we have a push called against Lexi. A two hit call against Lang. Attack here for the Yogis. 10 serving five. Our attack percentage from 312 down to 186. Augie Ball in the middle. No right, left side. There's Kayla. There's Kayla Dreddy. We found her. Kayla Dreddy with her ninth kill. Up that left pin. It'll be seven serving 10. Or six serving 10. And Kayla has nine kills. And she'll do the honors. Just clears the net. Out front, Johnson backs it, shot put down, and go it! Back set, Takea Walsh pecking at the point. It's 11, six. As Cotty Cox will come out, and Ryan Herman will come back in for the Gusties. 11 freshmen on this roster for the Gusties. Floated across by Holden. Out front, free ball put down. Oh, what a save by Lang. Left side for Nierengard, in the net! Maddie Nierengarden with an attack here, put it into the net. And Coach Gene Becker will call timeout. Timeout on the floor. 12 6 Gustavus here in the fourth set. Owned and operated by Nongsburg Alumni 360 while Wink of the parent company. Several up and coming brands in the Twin Cities. 1 800 got Chucky Movie and Shack Shine. Looking for a great job and a great team with great pay. That is near campus. Learn more or apply online by visiting 360wawink.com. And the Corner Bars, a proud sponsor of Augsburg Athletics, located in the historic Seven Corners District. Corner Bars, the perfect place for great food, outstanding pizza, and the almost world-famous Joey Wings. There's tons of screens, so you won't miss a second of the action. Visit the corner.bar for more information on the Corner Bar. Again, the Augie Sports Calendar, cross-country men and women will be down in Northfield, the St. Olaf Invitational tomorrow morning. The women will take off around 10, the men at 11 o'clock. The men's golf team up in South Center, Sartell, for the St. John's University Fall Invitational will play 36 holes over the next couple of days. Football at Jake Christensen Stadium, the Cobbers, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the men's soccer team here at home. 7 o'clock against St. Thomas. Sunday, the golf team up in South Center, the women's soccer team will be up in Duluth to take on St. Scholastica in a 3.30 game on Sunday afternoon. Volleyball next week. Homecoming against Carlton. Women's soccer homecoming against St. Thomas. And back to action the service air. By Gustavus. Evans in. Boys and out. It'll be 7 serving 12. Jalen Rios. Going with both setters out there. Yes, we do. Off the serve, and we get one back. Service hair for the Augie number 11. Sidney Olsen will come in. And Kakea Welsh will come out. Haley Mbacher. And her serve in the back row. Near Garden goes up front for Lang. In the middle, Evans tips it across. Save there by Johnson off the right side. There's Evans and coming with a block. But it went out of bounds and point for the guest is 14-7. A block by the Augies went in the net. That's the reason for the point for the Gusties. Not to clear the net, I guess not. Augie ball, bar, middle, Evans shot, good. Three Evans with 11. But we're down by six, running out of time. Quam in, Barat, Lang, back at the service line.
Lang, Evans, Nearing Garden, Rios, Quam, and Nearing Garden on the floor for the Oyes. As Haley <laughs> and Bugger, the designated towel girl <laughs> out of St. Clair High School, Mankato area. I think it's a co op school down there, St. Clair. I forget who they, they uh, co op with. The go ahead for Lexi Lang to serve. I'll get down by six. Back row played up front. Johnson backs it. Right side shot blocked by the Augies. Johnson again. Middle. Tid Nielsen gets blocked by Evans. Sent back by the Gusties. Korean Evans again. Sent up. Quam off the right side. Shot is blocked. Saved there by Dritty. Quick set the middle. Evans scores. Three at Evans. Gets quick set in the middle. And Co has 12. Nine serving 14. Augie leading two sets to one. Lang goes back row, played up front by Kate Holden. Near side for Herman, goes cross court. Saved by Near Garden, Rios keeps it alive for the back row. Kayla Dritty will send it over. Gusty set it up, Johnson, right side, shot put down by his old Sola. Here's Quam again, tipped it down the line, out of bounds. Megan Quam with a passing shot, two deep for everybody, point for the Gusties. And Johnson will come in, Johnson will come out. Elliot will come back in, and Olsen Sola will sit down. 15, serving nine. Kaitlyn Johnson serve and gets herself an ace. Kaitlyn Johnson with the server ace. And that is her fourth server ace. And a seven point lead, 16 to nine. There's another one, 17 to nine. Kaitlyn Johnson and the guesties now have eight service aces. Boyson comes out. Coming in for the Augies is Angel King. Our first year player out of North St. Paul. Playing for the Polars. And up a serve to picking on Kang. Angel plays it up front. And on the third hit sent cross court. Dug out by Johnson. Right side for Elliott. Sarah gets blocked. Sent back by Embacher. Lang sets the middle. Evans puts one down and saved by Embacher. Holt on it, sent it over. Augie ball again. Back set. Evans. Shot. Scores. Green Evans. Taking this team out of back and leading them away. I'm driving the bus. Says come. Now if we can get some points here. 10 serving 17. And Karina has 12 kills. Dirty has 9. Maddie Nierengarden for the Augies. Maddie serve. Popped up there by Herman. In the middle, put down by Sydney Olsen, and she scores right down the pipeline. Sydney Olsen has seven. 18 10, Gus Davis, the equal their biggest lead, eight points here in the fourth set. The defendant, Catherine Champions, the Gusties. And off the serve by Herman, deep and out of bounds. Gusties give one back on their ninth service here. Caddy Cox will come in, Ryan Herman will come out. Oh, he's will rotate. Kang comes out. Boyson comes in. Green Evans back at the service line. Boyson, Quam, and Drudy up front. That front row wall for the August. Back row. Embacher's pass up for Johnson. Near side holds. The kick gets black. And point for the August. Boyson and Quam, and Quam combine on the August seventh block. 12 serving 18. Two points in a row for the August. Evans again, floats to the Embacher's pass up front. Johnson, Old Holton sends it back up front. Kate Holton gets blocked by Quam. Johnson, middle, Sidney Olsen tips it over on the net. And Gus Davis got actually called for a football. Went for the Augies. And Sidney Olsen was on the line. He is 13, serving 18. Three in a row for the Augies. Evans again, back rim, Bacher. Up front, back set, shot by Elliott, and it is good! Sir Elliott just found the end line with her 10th kill tonight. 
And Bacher will come out. And Walsh will come in for the Gasties. 19 serving 13. Gasties trying to get this one to a fifth in the setting set. Sydney Olsen to do the enters. Nearing Gardens, nice high pass. Lang, left side, Jordy down the line. Popped up. Back throw by Cox. Tipped across by Johnson. Sent back by Rios. Johnson again. Near side, Holton. Slows it over the double block and scores. Can't hold on with a dozen to lead the Gusties in scoring. It is 20 to 13. Cox to do the honors. Back row deep and out of bounds. They give one back. Service here in number 10. Olsen out. M. Bucker back in. Quam will come out for the Augies. And Izzy Barr coming back in. Augie down by six, running out of time. 14, serving 20. Bar serve, back row. Cox up front, in the middle. Put down and good. Wellness with a point for the Gusties. 21-14. Johnson in. And Olsen Sola will come in. Johnson will come in. And Sir Elliott will come out. Johnson, 21-14. If we go to a fifth, of course, we go with the best of 15. And again, win by a couple. And after the eighth point is uh, scored, teams will rotate sides. All right, it's all work done. Okay. A serve by Johnson. Out of bounds. Sidney Johnson on the service there. 15, serving 21 for Kayla Dritty. Kayla <laughs> Seldoms comes out. She sends it deep. Popped up front. Johnson, middle, no right side. Put down, saved by Rios. Lang, backs it. Boyson, shot blocked. Saved by Barr. They go far side for Matt Nierengarden. Double on a good. Matt in Nierengarden. Picks up her six kills. It's been a while. Nice job, Matty. 16, serving 21. Augie's within five. It was eight. Served by Jurdy. Pass up front by Cox. Johnson near side. Holton shot through the block and good. Kate Holton with 13. 22 to 16. Herman will come in. And County Cox will sit down for the Gusties. And Kate Holton will go back to the service line. Good hard serve. Reels his pass. Backs it right side. And getting blocked there. Well, as Lexi like, but it went out of bounds. The block went out of bounds. Lexi will get credited for the point. Lang, that's her second kill. 17, serving 22. Kaylin Rios back at the line. Queen Evans back in that front row. Rios sends it deep in that back row. Johnson pushes it across and scores. Matea Johnson, the center. And she scores. Matea picking up her first kill tonight. Caught the Yogi's off guard. 23-17. And Bacher to serve for the Gusties. And good hard serve. Augie ball up front. Barb backs at Evan shot. And it's saved by M. Bacher. High in the air. Jass in the middle. Tipped across by Olsen. Set back and out of bounds by Lexi Lang. Lang on the miss hit. And here is set point for the Gusties. 24-17. And Bacher again floats the deep near and garden for Barr. Left side, near and garden scores. Matty near and garden hammered it off the block. And Matty has her sixth kill, 18, serving 24. Barr out, Kwam in line, back to the service line. And the Elgis hold off set point one time. Lang's good hard serve. Up front, third hit. The slide, Sid Nielsen gets. Blocked to the net, it's set by Evans, deep and out of bounds. Kareen Evans on the free ball, set it deep and out of bounds. And there is Gustavus on the board, 25 to 18. And we're at two sets apiece. They go to a fifth and deciding set. Jimmy Johns only delivers within five minutes of the store to maximize freshness because sandwich. Order today at jimmyjohns.com. Five minutes 
and not a guaranteed delivery time. Actual delivery times will vary. You can take a trip down memory lane to memory lanes and flashback cafe on 26th Avenue. South Minneapolis, 30 building ways, dive entertainment, great food and tea, two game rooms. Make for a great time. Visit www.memorylanesmpls.com for more information. You want to watch your share and company and work it overtime. The Augies hitting just 187. The Gussies hitting 197 here in the match. Augies with 45 kills. Gus Davis with 46 kills. Gussies have two in double figures. Colton has 13. Sarah Elliott has 10 for the Augies. Green Evans leading all the way with 13. And Keila Jurdy with nine. After that, uh, let's see, Maddie Nierengarden has seven. Gabe Boyson has just three. There we go. Seven blocks for the Augies, six for the Gusties. But ten aces for Gus Davis. Putting four in that set. Keelan Johnston picking up four aces. He has five on the night. Augies haven't had an ace since, I think, the second set. Chris Davis leading all the way. And the biggest lead, what did I have? The biggest lead was, I believe it was nine. It was one by seven. Now the Augies hitting 278 in the first set, 314 in the second set, but then an 056 and 069. Chris Davis hit 323 in the third set, 226 here in the fourth set. Augie game night on Augie Game Central. You know, just Sharon Kevin will be back with you next uh, Wednesday. Carlson comes to town for homecoming week. Tomorrow night, Charlie Beatty will have the call of men's soccer taking on St. Thomas. And there's soccer also next Wednesday. The women's soccer team will take on Lowers College. Wait a minute. Uh, no win. Okay, I'm on the wrong page here. Next Wednesday, it'll be women's soccer against St. Thomas on homecoming week. It's an early start time, isn't it? Nope, it's 7.30. Student section across the way. Men's soccer team, golf team, and more out there. So the Argus is trying to get back in system. They have really been looked disorganized these last two sets. They're trying to plug the hole in the middle there. Green Evans trying to do as much as she can. And looks like Kayla Drudy's got a new uniform out there. Kayla Drudy wearing number 23. She worked so hard, I think. She just swept through the first jersey. Kayla Drury were now wearing 23. Lang out there, there's Boyce and there's Nearing Garden, there's Quam and there's Evans. Rios will check back in. Augie's will serve to start the fifth and final set. And who's gonna serve? like Lexi Lang. So here we go, fifth set, best of 15. Lang from left to right. 2-2 two, two our score. Lang sends it deep and gone! Lexi Lang with an eighth, that's the way to get it started. Lexi Lang and the Yogis have their seventh ace, two for Lexi. Lexi and it's one to nothing. Lang serve again. And it's popped up, up front, Johnson, middle. Sidney Nielsen tips it over, saved by Quam. Third hitter who's got it, set across by Lang. Johnson, near side, Herman, down the line. Oh, what a save by Lang. And the Augies get called for in the net. Megan Quam got called for in the net. Pulling it cool with the Gusties, and it's 1-1. Ryan Herman will go back to the service line. The 
Marcus Davis, 7 and 6. The Augie's 10 and 2. Augie ball. Backs it. Cole shot through the block. And good! Green Evans on the slide move of the back set. And Evans has 14. The Augies take a 2 to 1 lead. And now coming into the match, looks like Embacher is at. County Cox is now playing the Libero spot. Served by Nierengarten. As Cox on the near side, Kate Holden tips it over the double block. Augie ball, sent across by Corrine Evans, and it's out of bounds. Two bad hits by the Augies, and it ended up out of bounds. 2-2. Two -two. Cox now wearing number one, Haley Umbacher's number. And County Cox got, uh, now the new Libero. Gets Davis ball. Cox into the back row. Augie, and we got a two-hit call uh, against Gus Davis. 3-2 in favor of the Augies. Now Boyson comes in. Evans goes back to the service line. And off the serve, and an ace! Off the hands of Kate Holden, an ice for the Augies. Green Evans will pick up the ace, and Co has her first ace. The Augies have eight, and it is four to two. Having the serve, left to right, back row, Holton up front, Johnston, back to Kate, the shot is blocked by the Augies, kept alive, and tipped into the net, that'll be four hits. Four hits called against Chris Davis. It is five to two. And a timeout called by Gus Davis. And gets the Rockets student section going over there on the far sidelines. All good game night after trailing the entire fourth set. They've come back. Prince of Orthopedics, proud to be the official sports medicine provider. Wrongsburg Athletics with more than 35 convenient locations. TCO delivers the highest quality of specialized orthopedic and sports medicine care for individuals and athletes of all levels and ages. Visit them at tcomn.com. And hey, Augsburg fans, Devonix Peach and Hot Hoagies wants you to stop by after the game and ask for the 10% Augie Medic discount when you show your Augie ID. Legendary pizza, original Hot Hoagies, pasta, lasagna, mac and cheese, calzones, and more. What are you waiting for? Well, you're waiting for the end of this match. 5-2 <laughs> Augies in the fifth and deciding set. Get to 15 and win by a couple. Evans, Niren Gardner, Lang, Jerdy, Quam, and Boyce out there for the Augies. Karina picking him on the ace on that last rotation. And off the serve. Popped up by Cox. They go middle. Tipped across. Augie ball. Evans sets up the left side for Jordi. Kalis through the double block. Saved by the Gusties. And on the third hit, Kate Holden floats it over and scores. Kate Holden floated over the double block. Has her 15th. Kate will be three. Serving, fifth, three serving five. Johnson will come out. Johnson will come in. Elliott will come out. And Olsen Sola will come in. And Matea Jasson will serve for the Gusties. Three serving five in set number five. And good start, hard serve, back row, Rios up front, Lang for Jordy down the line, scores! Kayla Jordy off the level block and scores, and Kayla's in the figures with 10. Six to three, Quamont. Izzy Barr will come in for the Yogis, and the lead is six. Bar serve just clears the net. Played up front, Johnson one-handed. And it's tipped across by Connie Cox. Up front line, rolls it over on the teardrop. No there. Here's Kate Holden, floats it over the double block and scores again. Kate Holden saw that double block coming and just floated it over the top. He's got 15. Cox will come out, Ryan Herm will come in. Four serving six. Kate Holden at the line for Gus Davis. Back rule, popped up, up front. Setting the near side. Jordy scores. Kayla Jordy hammers it home. Kayla Jordy has 10. It is 7 to 4.
Serve by Drudding. And floated it just over. Johnson up front, right side put down, and set back by Izzy Barr. Gusty ball, free ball, Moisson heck, can't handle it. And she got called for a carry. Two hit called against Jane. It'll be five, serving seven. And Sydney Olson will come in. And Olson Sola will come out. And off the serve by the Gusties. Augie ball. Bar left side. Maddie down the line. Scores! Maddie Darren Garden. Hammer going home for the Augies, and she has eight. And there's the eighth point. We change sides. Eight five Augies. We switch courts. I'll give you right down in front of us. Evans in double figures, Jordy in double figures. Holton and Elliott, double figures, four against Davis. Augie the blitz all the way. We've had two ties here in the fifth set. Augie's biggest lead again, three. Jalen Rios gets the okay. Rios sends it deep. Played up front. Johnson, left side. Herman shot blocked by the Augie. Augie's with a block. Augies will pick up block number nine. And the Augies have a four-point lead at nine to five. And Rochelle, head coach for the Gusties, call timeout. Call to Rachel. It's Rochelle sure done it. She's in her tenth year down in St. Peter. They won it all last year. Teammates with Jane Becker. I remember right. What the story I heard? You're both a uh, uh, maid of honor in each other's weddings, I guess it was. Just very good. You're very good friends. It goes back, a, a relationship that was back 10, 15 years. Very good friends. Here it is, 9-5 Augies by four. Get to 15 and win by a couple. Follow Augie Athletics on social media. Go to Augsburg Augies on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for all of your Augie social media. Remember to use the hashtag Augie Pride to share your love of Augie Athletics. And we're keeping Glenn Thompson up past his bedtime <laughs> up there on camera. Glenn Thompson, a very integral part of TJ Broadcast Services. He's been with me now for almost 10 years. Augsburg with the serve. And it's Lang. Nierengarten, Evans up front. Barr, Jerdy, and Rios in the back row. And up the serve by Jalen. Up front, Johnson goes back set near side. Put a cross court, nice save by Barr. Lang sets up Matty, tips it down the line, and it's saved in that back row. Johnson goes back set, floated over, and saved by Jalen Rios. Lang, shot in the net. See Lang tried to float it over on the teardrop, and into the net. Six serving, nine coming back. Johnson and Elliott will come back in for the Gusties. Olsen Sula will come out. Johnson will come out. And Kalen Johnson serving. There's Rios' pass for Barr. High in the air. Matty, shot blocked. Saved by Barr. Lang, back to Matty, one more try. Oh, it's in the net, four hit call. Uh, four hit call against the Yogis, it'll be seven, serving nine. And yeah, looks like Coach Gene Becker will call timeout. Let's see if I can find some other scores tonight. I mentioned Hamlin beating Crown. Hamlin now nine and three on the season. St. Mary's lost to Lowers, 3-2. Lowers is for real. They beat the Augies last weekend. 3-2 was the final there. UW Oshkosh beat St. Thomas, 3-2. And let's see, that's the only score I have. Again, Ian Sacker, 4-0 the final. Augsburg over Northwest, I think that was the final. It's 4-0 late. Cross country going on in South Bend, Indiana. The National Catholic Invitational. 
Coming out of the timeout, Augsburg lead has been cut to two. Caitlin Johnson to serve, left to right for the Gusties. And the serve clears the net, Rios' pass up front, near side, near and guard, down the line, and it is off the ceiling and kept alive. Bumped across by Herman, back row. Curdy goes up front, line, cross court, Maddie, one more try, and scores! Maddie near it in Garden scores for the Augies, and she's got nine. It's 10-7 in favor of the Augies. Barb will come out, Quam will come back in for the Augies, has a lead of three. And Lexi Lang to serve for the Augies. Just clears the net, popped up, up front, in the middle, put down by Sidney Olsen, Save Bay Rios, tipped across by Evans, and it's kept alive. No, Evans with the tip. Corinne Evans with the kill. And Dwayne Evans picking up point number 15 tonight, and it's 11-7. Karina Evans driving this bus here, bus here tonight, taking the team on her back. Served by Lexia Lang. Out front, Johnson. Left side, Elliott floats it over. Lang for Rios. Third hit, Nierengarden down the line, and kept alive. Out front, free ball, Quam to save it. Lang. Here's Maddie again, has to bump it across, no position. Set deep, Rios up front, Lang backs it. Quam shot, it is popped up by Holton in that back row. And at the net, Evans to tip it over. Gusty fans wanted to carry. Here's Herman, shot blocked by Evans one more time. Lang near side for Maddie, through the block. Save, and up front, back set near side. Elliott shot blocked by the Augies. Augies with another block, it's 12 to seven. Block number 10 tonight. The Augie lead is five. The Augie lead five. Again, best of 15. Served by Lang. Back row, up front, third hit. Elliott down the line, there's Rios. For Lexi, back set. Q floats it over the line. And it's played up front. Third hit, Elliott shot blocked by the Augies. And good. Elliott hammered it through the block. And Elliott will pick up her 11th kill. It'll be eight, serving 12. As Ryan Herman will go back to the service line. Again, the towel work out there. <laughs> Warm and muggy day here in Minnesota for late September. Augie game night, Augie game central. Nice to have you along wherever you might be. And I knew I should have given you the address. We've got a Gmail address for comments on the broadcast, but I forgot to give it. We'll do that next week. Augiesbooth at gmail.com. The serve by Herman. Eight, serving 12. Fifth set. Back roll, and good! Rios let it go, Nierengarten let it go, and a foul on the floor, an ace. For Ryan Herman. And she has her second ace, nine serving 12. And the serve in the back row, Brio is for Lang, near side. Quam over the double block, popped up with that back row. Johnson goes back to Elliott, off the block and gone. Elliott off the Augie block on the right side and make, cuts it a, to a two point lead. It is 10, serving 12 when we come back out of the break. As Davis not going quietly into the good nights. What a match. I wasn't prepared to work this hard tonight. <laughs> uh, but of course, yours bring together some of the finest groups of people in our communities. The capable and professional staff of drivers, travel planners, mechanics, and support personnel at Minnesota Coach know how to serve these groups. They travel to a variety of destinations locally and across the country while offering excellence in customer safety, service, and satisfaction. Visit www.minnesotacoach.com today to request a quote. Minnesota Kosher, the official bus provider for Augsburg Athletics. Breakfast time to go, refreshment after work. The Bistro has you covered. Whether you're enjoying their signature snacks or specialty beverages, the Bistro provides the perfect complement to your day when you're on the go or off the clock. Visit them at courtyardminneapolis.com slash Augsburg. Eat, drink, connect at the courtyard. 10, serving 12, fifth set. And the serve by Herman, left to right. 
And she'll send it deep in that back row. Rios' pass up front for Lang. Back set for Cole. Karina shot getting blocked, but sent back by Lang. It scores! Lexi Lang for the back row. Pulls it across, and Lexi picks up a big third kill of the night. Here is double match point, 13-10. Herman out. Cox will come back in for the Gusties. Lexi Lang, what a big point for Lexi. Augie's up 2-0. Gus Davis comes back and wins the third and fourth sets. 25-17, 25-18. Augie's haven't had the lead since the end of the second set. Gus Davis led all the way in the last two sets. It'll be Maddie Nierengarten to do with the honors. Maddie has an ace. 13 10. And the serve by Maddie deep in that back row. Popped up by Cox. Third hit. Far side Holton. Shot blocked by the August. Kept alive by Kate Holden. As they set the middle. Put down by Cox. Blocked by the August. Sent back by Sydney Olson. She scores. Quam. Got stepped at the net. Point for Sydney Olson. And Sydney has her eighth. It's 11. Serving 13. Olson. Back at the service line again, you got to win by two. Olsen serve, Rios' pass for Lang. Middle, Evan shot. Oh, what a save in the back row. Played by Johnson and back. Quam for Lang. Middle, Evan scores! Kareen Evan scores for the Augies. And here is set and match point for the Augies at 14 to 11. Kareen Evans picking up the point for your Augies. And Cole has 16 tonight. Augie Faithful, the cheering section, the student section across the way on their feet. I see the soccer team is here. Both soccer teams are here. 14-11, Kirk Curry and Evans. And Cole sends it across. Play it up front. Johnson backs it near side. Elliott shot blocked by the Augies. Gusty ball. Here's Holden down the line. And out of bounds. Point for the Augies. Kate Holden. On the miss hit, and the Augies win the fifth in the static set, 15 to 11, and win the match three sets to two, and run their record to 11 and two overall. And one and no in conference for Gustavus. They are now seven and seven, and 0 oh and one in conference. Oh my! <laughs> MIAC volleyball, not for the faint of heart. Augies with the win. Owned and operated by an Augsburg alumni 360 Wallach of the Parent Company. And several up and coming brands in the Twin Cities. 1-800-GOT-JUNKIE, move me and check, Sean. If you're looking for a great job and a great team with great pay that is near campus, learn more or apply online by visiting 360wallinc.com. And I think we're going to get a try Try and get uh, Corrine Evans on our post game match. Give you the final stats in just a bit. Okay, final stats. Augies came back and hit 200 in that fifth and final set. Okay, the first question I got for you, Karina, can you hear me? You can't. Okay. I'll let you catch your breath. Try to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Green, I'm not a, a technical genius. How about that? Yeah. There, there we go. <laughs> Coming back after a mild injury last week and quite a return to action, young lady, Kareen Evans. Yeah. Uh, we worked hard in the gym, worked hard in the new training room to get back on the Isn't court. It? 
That new training room, isn't that fabulous? Yeah, it's beautiful in there. Glad to have it. All right, uh, let's talk about this match, an up and down one. We won the first two sets, and then we got all out of system in the, second, the third and fourth sets. And what brought us back in that fifth set? Um, I think it was just mindset and realizing that we need to, you know, step up our game. Everybody on our team, obviously, is here to play, and we all can, if one person goes down, we're all there to fill in, and nobody's better than anybody else, and so we can all work together no matter what, no matter what comes at us. Well, I talked a little bit, uh, you were injured last week, but how, are, how is that cap doing right now? It feels good. Um, I don't know if it's the adrenaline or the <laughs> win or what, but we'll see tomorrow how it is, but... Okay, a little worse. Um, uh, how is Jay doing? Jade Fuller's been rolling that ankle for the second I set. I am not sure where she went, but I'm sure that the trainers are taking good care of her and she'll be back soon. So, like I said, uh, Coach Becker tried a lot of new things. We went with both setters in the lineup and uh, just trying to fill all the holes. And somehow you guys got, got through it. Yeah, like I said, we kind of realized that nobody is different than anybody else and all of us can play wherever the coach puts us and we just have to have faith in that and I think that we did tonight. All right, win number 11 first in Caffords and we got homecoming next week, uh, next week. Good luck and we'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you. Green Evans, our special guest here on our Potence Game Show as Augie Game Night continues here on Augie Game Central. All right, let's continue. Where was I? Augie's with 10 blocks on the night, including one solo block by Kareen Evans. Why not? She had an ace, she had a solo block, she had 16 kills, and leading the Yogis to their 11th win of the year. Kiana Jurdia finished with 11. We did have eight aces on the night, and hit 186 for the match. Forgus Davis, they hit 173 for the match, 53 kills, two in double, double figures, Kate Holton with 16, Sir Elliott with 12, six blocks, all of the double block variety, 11 aces. Great job at the service line by the Gusties. And in fact, five aces for Kaylin Johnson, their setter. But again, in the book, the Augies up 2 nothing. As Davis comes back, ties it up at 2-2, and the Augies win the fifth and deciding set, leading all the way and winning 15-11. And that's the story tonight here from Ernie Anderson Court, a double win tonight. And the uh, women's soccer team, they shut out North Washington up over at the Edo Nelson Field by score four to nothing. On the Augie Sports calendar for tomorrow, again, cross country down in Northfield. Men's golf up in Sock Center. Football at Concordia Moorhead and the men's soccer team hosting St. Thomas tomorrow night at Edo Nelson Field beginning at 7 o'clock. Charlie Beatty will have the call of that game here on Augie Game Central. For Kelly Anderson, Dirks, Ashley Holmes, my camera guy, Glenn Thompson, extraordinary. I'm Tom Merchant. Your final score, Augsburg 3 against Davis 2. Good night, everybody. We'll talk again.